time I did count you guys in. Yes, this time you did yes. count. Yes. Well I, I, I thank you for that. Um, I hope I we're also visible and hearable. That is not a word, but it is now. Audible. Um, oh, really? Audible. Yeah. That's the word. Um, hey, everyone. Welcome to Rules is Fun. Uh, we play Pathfinder Rules is Fun every Sunday here on this stream. I don't really need to uh, promote this stream right here because you are already here. Um, but anyway, in case you're not yet watching, uh, go watch. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, last time, or am I like skipping? I, I feel that I'm skipping stuff. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll find out. Uh, last time, uh, you guys went on a uh, on a quest uh, to um, kill and or brief, uh, befriend uh, some construct that was walking around and terrorizing farmland somewhere because it was being careless. Uh, so you decided to befriend it. Uh, you drove the um, flaming mass of fire uh, from its house. And by driving it from its house, I mean cutting it into a thousand pieces until it is no more. Uh, as you do. Um, it's kind of our job. It, it is kind of your job. <laughs> and then you went back to uh, the town that you're in now, Croydover, uh, to the barracks that are there available to be used for members of the Strikers Guild. And uh, that is where you are now. Right. Uh, we visit before the we start. Chief first, but yeah. And, uh, Sorry? We visit the chief first. Yeah. 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 Um, but before we start, um, I would like you all to introduce your characters. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And. Oh. Yeah, why not? Mm, no, that one's going to be too complicated. Damn. I can't come why up am with I a question. This more than the rest of the session. <laughs> uh. I, I just I'm just blank. Sure, I'm I'm just gonna ask it. Uh, tell me uh, what who your character is and what is their their favorite monster. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I need to talk a lot before I can answer this question. So, hi, I'm Mel. I'll be playing, uh, checking that my camera is actually moving because that's a bit of an issue here. Um. I'm playing Alice, or Alice Seifer's full name, uh, who uh, is the investigator of the party. Uh, I love myself a good book. Uh, and I am the only one who's not that great at long range, as we've noticed last time. So um, I will come up and stab anything that we're facing, uh, or I'll just bombard them with knowledge. Um, and because of that reason, Alice, Alice knows a lot of monsters. She she knows a, a excuse my language fuck ton of them um, because she loves to read about them. Um, but her absolute favorite monster is probably uh, it's gotta be dragons. It's gotta be dragons. <laughs> Because they are classical and they appear in the absolute most books. There! Ha! Sure. <laughs> uh, the safe, albeit pretty boring choice. But, but... <laughs> <laughs> I am playing uh, Orgolmir, who is a giant who can wield different weapons and choose between different sets of spheres, I guess, between weapons. Which makes it pretty you say spheres, I guess. That is literally what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not into this as you are. 
expert here. I'm not. I'm just rolling dice and such. <laughs> His favorite monster. I'm not sure. Would lions and tigers also count as monsters? Like fighting uh, in the arena? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm. they are part of one of the orders. They are part of the Order of the Wild. Yeah. Uh, so they do count as monsters. Mostly because of the show element and the arena and fighting a lion, and that's just awesome. <laughs> mm. Well, Nix also has a thing for cats, since he's a shapeshifter, also genuinely has some cat like features. This is not a coincidence. Uh, as far as genuinely goes with a shapeshifter. Yeah, I mean, you know, they can always be removed again or replaced. They said lions, though, not kittens. They're still, not felines. They're still felines. Um, but uh, Nix is uh, Nix is also an elementalist, so he's um, he he fights with the elemental magic with different elements, and um, and is a shapeshifter, like I said. Uh, but Nix's favorite uh, monster is the sea cat, which is a yeah, giant uh, mix between a cat and a fish, which is just all kinds of interesting and sounds both. Awesome and delicious. So, yeah, do, do you really... often wonder whether it would eat itself? Yes, Nick has dreams about this. I think <laughs> probably one tonight in, while we are sleeping in the inn, since Nick is still kind of drunk when we go to bed. But yeah, introducing to alcohol. <laughs> so cute. All right. Oh damn! I'm supposed to talk now. Ah. Um. Uh, you have a nice rest. Um, Nick's dreams of sea cats eating themselves, chasing their own fish tail. <laughs> um. The others of you, I don't know. Ori probably dreams of battle. Probably. Or mountains, or battles in mountains, on mountains. I think mountains. battles off Nick's mountains. Wake up with a fish tail. Actually, <laughs> I think this might happen. <laughs> <laughs> she may be nibbling on a little in his sleep. All right. Uh, who of you wakes up first? I was pretty drunk, so doubt it's gonna be at least though. Then probably Orgamir. Hmm. All right. Uh, you wake up first. And you see Nyx attempting to eat a fish tail that somehow appears from somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, that that seems about right. <laughs> uh, the others will wake not much later. Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh! Not again! <laughs> again? Seriously? <clears throat> Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> Nix quickly changes back to his regular form. Alice is probably... Oh, actually, Alice might be one of the first ones up. Cause in the morning, she has to do alchemy. So, yeah, that portable alchemy lab that you've been carrying, um, that's in use now. And not just anything, there is a jar with the essence of the fire elemental on there, and at least is for the first time using it. Mm. Mm. Um, Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. <laughs> Quite she literally. She is absent mindedly also working on the selves. She, her main focus is on the alchemist fire that she's trying mm -hmm. to make. Um, in this same hurried manner that she makes the other ones. So while she's just sort of casually, like, occasionally looking, oh, okay. It's fine. It smells terrible. Um, also, working with this this catalyst, it looks different from what you uh, remember the flask of Al uh, flask of alchemist fire looking like. Mm -hmm. It yep. looks it looks a lot uh, less liquid. Uh, it looks a lot less intense. Almost like it's a little bit translucent. Uh, but eventually, at some point, the stopper goes on, and like 
I have good news. I have good news. We did not explode. Okay. Are you sure, that's good news. I also had an alchemist fire. That is good news. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna last very long. It's a bit unstable, but that's fine. <laughs> unstable in what sense? Oh, it's just gonna be gone in like twenty four hours. Like same with the oh. salves. Mm. <laughs> All right. I mean, if you want a completely stable concoction, it's not going to evaporate over the next 24 hours. Um, it takes so long. It takes so long, like a whole hour actually doing stuff. And you have to sit there and watch it. Yeah, I don't think you have the attention span to last that long. Uh, we should um, get moving, I guess. Uh, yeah, get back to headquarters. We need to visit this lord or not? Uh, well, if we go past the lumberjack and find a Plank? branch or some right. stick we have of to go wood that looks like what like our new old friends, new old friends, right? Right, okay. we were supposed to grab a souvenir for the lord as long as it's as long as I we think. Lord will buy it and believe that it's this wood creature. Yeah. So something better than your branch that you fought that you found yesterday. Yes, something better. It's been incredibly funny though. You do have to admit that. Yeah, yeah, it would have been pretty funny. It'd be really funny to be flogged and hang hung by your ankles by the nobles, but I wouldn't recommend it doing it multiple times. I mean, honestly, in order to get it to that point when you're a striker, you have to fuck up so royally that mm -hmm. it's just going to be like <laughs> explosions and stuff like that. And I mean, I you know. have to fuck up pretty bad before you're chased out of town. I know, but mm -hmm. I also know your tendency for explosions. Oh, they've never actually bothered with that. So, all right, let's go uh, buy us a log or something. We could just attack a tree. No, let's no, let's get the let's go ask the lumberjack. Let's call, the, let's call that Plan D. <laughs> yeah, it is a tree. Mm -hmm. There is literally no scientific evidence that it feels any pain or anything of the sort. We could just it grows back. No, that's not the point. We need something that looks right. We need. Fuck. Um, do we need? Do we need actual planks? I think that would be better. Fine. I'll spend a couple of gold for Frank. So, uh, um, you do remember that, um, you do remember that boar was not made of, uh, of like planks or timber. Okay. But very carefully well crafted wood. Mm -hmm. So we need. Like some sculpted wood, kind of. Yeah, or yeah. furniture yeah. build okay. or something. Let's go find a carpenter or something. Yeah. That's going to take so much money and effort. That's not going to take that much money. We saved their village. They can spare one piece of wood. Yeah. Uh, you save their village because that is your job and you're already getting paid for it. Yeah, but well, we can still try. He doesn't know that. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll ask. Uh, In my. Not so very limited experience pranking nobles. <laughs> um, it's it's you, you should oh, never you... spend more than 20 gold because they will, it's not worth it. How are we to know. pranking this noble? Also, you don't think it, a, a piece of wood is gonna cost 20 gold? No, I'm just Ridiculous. saying, like, this is craftsmanship. If any of you were like really good at wood carving, I would be all for just getting a log and doing this. We just need like the the backboard of a chair or something, just something that looks oh, yeah. like it's well, you know it's crafted. It's a bit damaged. Yeah, I mean right. we we fought, we fought it, so you know we could, we could grab a chair from this from right. this inn. But no, no, okay, let's let's go buy a chair or something. Let's see if Come we on. can. Let's hit up the barman for downstairs, yeah. like the innkeeper. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Um, the barrack keeper uh, 
greets you as you come down. And says, Good morning. Would you like breakfast before you leave? Oh, yes, please. Please. All right. Definitely. Do you have any hangover cures? I'm asking for a friend. Orgomir has a terrible, terrible hangover. Yes. Um, there's, oh, he has a tolerance uh, from here until the mountains. There is a uh, river just behind the barracks. Is that a hangover cure? Yep, it I'll, is. Wait, I'll show you. And I grab him by the, the shoulder and I drag <laughs> him you, along. What are you doing? Where are we? Don't worry, this will help. <laughs> <laughs> I will inform the cook for when you're wanting breakfast. Double call the face. <laughs> I'll stay here. I prefer not to get scratched by an angry cat. Yeah, and I push him to the edge of the river, not in. Okay. Are you ready, Nix? I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Are you ready? No. And I push him in. <laughs> <laughs> Are Why you did going I to expect resist? anything else? <laughs> so, Are you going to try to resist? No. All right. Uh, you fall into the river. And Orgami um, just stands there, arms crossed. It is pretty cold because, you know, it is winter. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're instantly awake. Uh, it does seem to help against your hangover. But you're also yeah. just soaking wet right yeah. now. As soon as I come out of the out of the river, I just I put flames all over my body for for like a, a brief period to just and steam comes off, and I'm like, it does actually help. Thank you. Welcome. Next time I'll just jump. Don't throw me in again, ever. That's fine. For the record, I didn't throw you. I just gave you a little shove with my pinky. Whatever. At least he's slightly disappointed that you don't come in sopping wet. <laughs> it is absolutely visible. <laughs> um, the barrack keep uh, approaches uh, with three plates uh, of what seems to be a um, pretty like thick um, starchy stew. Um, it it is like it, it's it's not it it tastes all right. It it's not it's not the excellent cuisine that you would get in uh in something like an inn or you know a restaurant. Uh, but it is good food, and it's definitely something to you know start your day with. All right. Um, we need a. Uh piece of wood that looks like it may have been cut off from a big walking construct. Um, could you recommend any carpenters? Uh, well... Like it's... I mean, uh, I, I can just Point you to the carpenters. There are enough carpenters around. We we are, you know, partially a woodcutters' village after all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see who would. What would it look like? Uh, it was kind of like sculpted wood. Uh, carefully crafted. And then worn by were... years or and weather and yeah, and we'll probably bit damage it a little by ourselves. Well, we can do that ourselves. The damage that's easy. I I think that your best bet would be at um uh, at Elgro. He um mainly deals in uh, secondhand goods. Uh, oh, perhaps you can find something there. Okay, it's perfect. Sounds good. Uh, also, pretty cheap. Uh, he's not an actual carpenter, but um, 
Well, he does sell wooden objects. Good enough for me. All right. Then uh, I would suggest we uh, hit him up. And after that, head back to the guild. And to this noble to give this Yay. piece of... Yes, is the noble is does he live in the city or does he live somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, all nobles live in the city. Oh. Like all nobles in, in around this area live in the city because that okay. is the absolute safest place you can be. Yeah, around sense. Dryden. Okay, then uh, yeah, we hit up this Elgro. All right. Uh, you had to uh, Elgro, uh, and there is. Uh, a very simple sign above the door that just says Elgro's Goods. Um, and as you enter, uh, you hear this very typical like bell sound going off. Um, Ow. And you find yourself in a shop with just rows and rows of <laughs> seemingly meaningless objects. Mm -hmm. It, right. You're not quite sure whether this is, and it, it it's it's probably all objects that were sold to him or that were given to him. It might also just have been scavenged from you know the nearest dump. Okay. Or yeah. And looking for something suitable. Would that be an investigation check? Or that would be an investigation check, check yeah. Okay. I'll like join in on that. Yeah, definitely. And would like to investigate. All right. I mean, there's... <laughs> and I roll it too. So I think I'm just... That becomes a seven, and I think I'm just fascinated by a rock I found or something like that. Nine. <sighs> 27. 27. Jeez. I am that an investigator. Went too higher I than I what I had. Um, uh, yeah. After looking around for quite a while, uh, you eventually find what seems to be a like um, very specifically because you're also high. You find an armor set, um, a wooden armor set that seems to be made for someone of giant size, uh, and it's like parts. A lot of it is missing. Uh, it's battered and not great, uh, but it's special. It it has this large, this large polished shoulder plate mm. that you think like that that would make sense. I mean, I do want the entire thing, obviously, because that's <laughs> right. brilliant. That is just fucking brilliant, and there's so much potential in. The concept of that entire set, but it's so, huge. Yes. How? Where are you gonna put that? Oh, I'm gonna put it in our apartment or in my apartment if you guys don't oh. want it around. But it seems like a proper trophy for the first time since you know, yeah. except for you know, fire. That's that's also a pretty great trophy. But I mean, come uh, on. Uh, how about you? Okay, well, just find out how much it costs before you decide to buy the whole thing. Is there a, is the shopkeep anywhere? Uh, yeah. Uh, there is an old man standing behind the counter. Good. It's still morning. It's still morning. Bit of a hangover. Sorry. Hi. It happens. It is still morning. Good morning. Good morning. You have this beautiful, slightly battered, very damaged um, set of really not armor that beautiful right anymore. Back. It is completely yes, fascinating. Yes, I am aware. It's completely fascinating. How much do you want for it? Three gold pieces. In that state? Yes. A new set would cost 50. Very 
Very interesting. Um, Mabel is too bad with money to do anything like this, so... Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm bad with money too. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll definitely get that in money and just start having counter. Do you by any chance also have wooden stakes? I can find them. It might just be that, you know, I can find them either in whatever dumpster diving you were doing. I don't really have wooden stakes. I have very few wooden objects, to be honest. Most of my wooden objects are um, artistic in nature, while wooden stakes are more practical. Um, I would say go to the carpenter, or because of the simplicity of it, go straight to the woodcutters. Fine. I'll slide over the money. We'll take that, and we'll be out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And just uh, picking it apart. Uh, <sighs> Three what? gold pieces for the whole what a waste. It's not that much. Uh, to you. Three gold for pranking a noble, that's... Oh no, this is... Maybe... Two gold, uh, two and a half gold for a beautiful trophy, and like five silver for pranking it up. Even better. <sighs> sure. I guess we have... At least we'll sort of money. pack it up and just sort of hand it off to Ori. <laughs> More money than I'm used to. Yeah, what do you want me to do with it? Oh, this mm -hmm. is a trophy. Mm -hmm. Would you carry it? There you go. There we go. Gosh, you're so strong. The both of you are. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. Don't, do that. don't, don't stop. <laughs> Stop. I, you, no. you could have asked no. me to carry it too. You know? Not I mean, working. Just it's not working on me. I thought you were riding Ori again. Like being small? No, I'm not. I'm not walking. Medium oh, size okay. right now. No, the, I'm not I, small. I literally asked, like, like, aren't you going to be. Uh, carrying? That's for combat. Only for, for, for tactical purposes. It is That's... very tactical. <laughs> yes, it is. I did think about that actually. If I could. Pull out my swords and move faster, and you stood on top of me. We could dash away very fast. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, that one, sure can, that one can teleport, I so... I can also take you, like, one at a time, until yeah, I but... get a bit better at it. Huh. For now, if I pull out my swords, I can move faster, so... There we go. Oh, okay. We should get back to the city. It's you a little over half of this journey, yeah. if I remember correctly. Yeah, we should get moving. Go! Alright. Uh, you go on your way back to Draidan. Uh, it is still about half a, way, half a day travel. Um, the distance between here and Draidan did not change in the last day. Hmm. Yes! Good news! <laughs> Um, as you enter Drydon, uh, the way back um, is rather uh, is rather easy. It's mostly just road. Uh, it's decently protected. Yeah. Uh, every at now and point, again. Um... At some point, Nyx will, will want to uh, see the shoulder plate and then apply some burning scratches to it and probably have you guys also cut so into it a little so just so it looks properly damaged. before right. it's, it's holding it in front of him and uh, just be walking. It, it looks properly damaged because it is properly damaged. Mm -hmm. um, you done? Yeah. Right. You encounter um, a few patrolling guards um, or, you know, you greet each other and they go on your way, uh, their way, and you go on, you go on yours. Uh, as you get back to Dryden, you notice that the um, the the city feels a little different now. Um, the the tension that was very present during the last few days um, 
with the uh, the order of the night being so close and perhaps managing to attack the city, um, it has kind of calmed down by now. Uh, people still seem very busy. Uh, you can also see that a couple of people seem to be uh, moving around, taking measurements or putting up some things like uh, either tents or what seem to be market stalls, even though the area where they currently are is not a market area and would normally not contain market stalls. Do we know of any special events about to happen? Um, make me a knowledge local check. Okay. I'm gonna do not move in on that one. Ooh. That was almost a 30, but instead it's gonna be a 20. 15. All right. Um, you don't really, you're, you're not quite sure. It, it does, it, it has to be something special because, um, the larger festivals either have been uh, have been done for some time. Um, the midwinter festival is already over, and the upcoming festivals uh, might take well. Uh, preparing for the, for them now already, uh, months ahead, it's a bit early. The people that are, I don't know if I'd know this. The people of that are setting this up, do they look mm -hmm. like strangers? Like they are not from Dryden. For example, are they hiding golden jewellery or uh, uh, hiding silver jewellery or something of the sort? Um, with the way they're walking around um, and the, the, the comfort and certainty they're doing things, uh, they do seem to be from here. Is there any uh, markings on their clothing? Are they do they belong to a specific um, group? Make me an obs uh, observation check. Jeez, perception check. Where did I get observation check from? Observation check. I have no idea. Ooh. I don't think I've ever played a game where that was a thing. Make uh, me a perception check. Isn't that uh, eldritch horror? Isn't that observation? Not sure. I don't know. Anyway, uh, perception. Yeah, I've it's got observation. A 24. Twenty-four. You're right. Twenty-four. Ooh. Um. These are very specific people. Uh, you can see that because they. Uh, they wear, they uh wear great clothes. Um. But little jewelry. Hmm. Uh, they seem to be um, to be uh, well fed and very healthy, but they're still very much like willing to willing to work. They're very much active here and not just shouting around orders. They're also actually doing something. Um, definitely most no of the noble. people here uh, seem to be like the the middle merchant class people. They are not the commoners and workers. Their clothing and how they wear themselves is too expensive for that. Uh, but they're also not nobles. Any familiar faces amongst them? Ooh, uh, maybe some that you've seen like once or twice, but no one from no one you know from your past, and no one from the guild that you've seen. All right. Hmm. Or Gomil would just walk to one of the stalls. People building the stalls. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. Uh, one of the people who uh, was working, who is like carrying a large plank of wood, turns around, uh, turns head and says, "Yes." What's happening here? I've never seen the market on this place before. Oh no, we're not preparing for the market. Oh. Now what's no, happening? No. You you don't know. No, sorry, Ben. Are out in the field a long time, in the arena a long time. I'm sorry, I haven't been around much. Oh, that's fine. He, he kind of puts down the plank of wood and kind of leans on it. Um, well, uh, we're preparing for the upcoming festival. Mm -hmm. 
Um, because uh, there are going to come a couple of uh, couple of noblemen are going to come from uh, uh, from Eretis. Hmm? Because, uh, well, you, uh, I mean, I, I suppose you know this, but just in case you don't, um, you know, we're Drydon is without a lord right now. Mm. Uh, we need a new lord. Yes, we're aware. <laughs> I... <laughs> we're very, very much aware. Yes. Oh, no, so I mean, and I, I didn't. I mean, meant no disrespect, no, no. of course. I was just like you didn't know that um, what this was for, so. There's a lot of exotic things coming in, I guess. So wait, you're saying are they coming here to vie for the position of lord? Yes, or something. Yes, oh. I see. Uh, hmm. So it's going to be a succession war. Well, um, it's a festival it doesn't seem that much of a war. It's succession. There's no bills involved. It's going to be a battlefield, even if it's just in the gossip circles. That's a good point. It's going to be a war. It's not supposed to be a war, but to be honest... They're nobles. <sighs> Part of our world now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well... Just Penelope about this. As, as, long as, as long as we get a new lord in here, you know, and it's kind of a capable one, uh, that would be great. Uh, I like the thing that they've, uh, that they've chosen to take a, um, to take a lord from Aratus to take over. Uh, because, you know, um, with lords coming here from Eretis, maybe they can see that we're not the savages that they uh, like to pretend we are. Maybe. Let's hope some, we... some, some new trade routes. Yeah, let's hope we get a, a more civilized lord again. It doesn't think we're savages. I'd have to, have to get my hands dirty again. Anyway, we should, <laughs> um, we should get moving. Would be beneficial. Okay, so a festival, so a lot of games and food and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. There's food. Um, oh, and... that's plenty. Uh, there's no food yet. Uh, we're, we're probably starting the. We don't know if we, for sure when the lords are going to arrive. We expect yeah, them to be here within, arrive? like within a week or so. Um, a week. So we're we're just making sure that. Um, I'm hungry now. Okay. I'm... We'll get some food later. <laughs> there's a butcher right there. They're doing great. Mm -hmm. um, and Orgami leans forward. So this festival, if I had, yeah. like, coincidentally, two friends that I would, like, shove into an attraction together, where should I put them? Oh. What? You know, uh, if I catch your drift correctly, mm. um, I would I would go for something like um like the horror house. Oh. Uh Scary Mansion. I don't know the exact plans of all the attractions that are there. Something that will uh go and spook them because then, you know, people tend to seek safety with each other. Huh. Uh huh. I'll think on that. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm very I'm not sure if Nix had heard this or not. I think he's I think he's too distracted by his, his <laughs> rumbling stomach. He's definitely Anchoring for some lunch. We should go get some lunch before we head to... I'm, I can't deal with nobles on an empty stomach. Not I, I'm not going to have to deal with nobles right. on an empty stomach. I think we'll first drop off our stuff at the, uh, the guild. Report that we completed it. Get the nobles' address. Go to uh, get some food on the way to the nobles' address. But first get rewards. Yeah. I also wanted, also wanted to double-check something at headquarters. But we'll do that when we get there. All right, yeah. all right. But let's hurry. All right, so you hurry towards headquarters. Yes. Probably just gonna get grab food in the kitchen there. Actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you like enter and uh, you go towards the main building. Um, something that does catch your eye: the amount of uh, notices on the contract board. Mm -hmm has significantly increased since last time. Oh. Whack. What is the most common uh, symbol? Uh, actually, the most common symbol is a symbol you have not yet seen before. And you've oh. only heard about it so far. Uh, 
there is a symbol uh, that is a single chain link. Um, and th those symbols are pretty rare because what they mean, uh, what they stand for, uh, is kind of. They stand for preparation. It means that there is something larger coming. Uh, there's something larger coming. Um, that these things need to be prepared for. Or maybe not all of them, but as many as possible. Um, first drop of most of the armor there. Um, why do we hand in basically confirmations? Um, most of the confirmations. Uh, I think the chief took care of that, right? The village chief. He would confirm that the job is done. Oh. The village chief, uh, chief, jeez. The village, uh, the village elder disconfirmed that the job was done. The elder, right? Uh, he would probably he he would have given you uh, a. Uh, like a, a, a short letter, uh, not wasting too much paper, mm -hmm. uh, not like any official stuff, but just uh, uh, I, the Elder of Croydover, confirm that these people have completed this in this contract. I feel like Nix has the letter, probably. Oh, so yeah, you're Nyx... so proud of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... <laughs> exactly. And uh, these things usually. Um, if that person is currently available, because he isn't that often. Um, no, actually, no, I make a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, confirmation and payment, uh, as well as basically any finances, um, go through uh, a Quintus Tillman. Ah, that's a familiar figure. Uh, the person who people basically go to for basically everything because his job is to know things. All right, Nix is gonna slide on up to Aquintus if I can find him. Mm, All right, and Elise is definitely joining because there might be something involved with paperwork. With the concern, do I have to report that I have an alchemist fire catalyst on me now? Um, I feel like you're probably not going to be able to keep it. Uh, not say it anyway, but <laughs> I, I don't think you have to report, but it is okay. strongly advised. Right. I mean, I have made reckless mistakes in the past, so likely when we're dropping stuff up at off at the apartment uh, in the, the within the guild, she'll likely have quickly like drawn up like this bit of paperwork that looks reasonably official. Like, all right. That she now is in possession of the essence of a fire elemental and is capable of making alchemists fire uh, and will be doing so for personal uses, that this will not be blah, 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 that she will maintain safety regulations mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. It's basically it one big form that can be uh, that can be summarized in the sentence, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Please, please sign this. <laughs> right. Oh, you need a signature. Yeah. Sure. So, um, okay. In that case, Nix is like, "Are you done with your form yet? We have to come on." I want to. I mean, she is writing fast for uh, the long as the the document is. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, oh, this oh, is good. Oh. Ink still drying, following Nix out. <laughs> or are you Nick's joining? Is probably dragging you by the wrist, basically. Uh, you know where you, Quintus is, right? You you two go. I'll I'll see you later here. Cool, 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 right. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know where Quintus is. I mean, you know, he is first guess. In... First I'm guess not... is always the library. Second guess is his own office. Fair enough. So, library it is. Most people will first go to the office, but then done. So, <laughs> mm. it's very smart. Very smart. Then, and if uh, he's not in I... his office, then he was annoying me in the alchemist uh, in the alchemy lab. So. All right, so then we find Quintus in the library, I assume? Yes, uh, he is seated at a table, and there seems to be like a large stack of paper next to him. Uh, he seems to be writing contracts. 
Nix will slide right up to him and hand him the, the Elder's letter, and he's like, there you go. Aquintus looks up from the uh, contract that he is currently writing, places a single dot, and puts down his quill. Uh, he will take the um, he will take the piece of paper from you. Well done. He will fold it up, uh, put it in a pouch, uh, and then he will take out a pouch. Um, Uh, yeah, I would do it like this. He uh, takes out a pouch. He picks up uh, a uh, a weight. Uh, um, he picks up a pair of scales. Uh, mm. He puts an object on one of the scales and like the pouch on the other, and then grabs another pouch. And he looks at it, and he fills the pouch with a few more co- gold coins. Mm. Uh, the scales like go. Roughly even, and he nods. Uh, takes out, takes off both the pouch and the weight at the same time, as to not damage anything. <laughs> uh, will quickly bind it shut, and will hand over, uh, hand you the pouch. Thank you. Well done. <clears throat> Thank you. Did you still have the paper of the contract? Um. Uh, yes, I have probably kept that. Um. At this point, Elise will has this her own contract for like I have this now. Put it on the table and start rifling through paper so it's in full view, and just forgets because she carries too much papers on her. And eventually, we'll just sort of find it in her journal, like ah, this one. Right. Thank you. Uh, I will take it from you because then I can destroy it so you don't actually try to do the same thing twice. It has happened in the past. Jax. That's weird. Goodbye, Jax. Um, <clears throat> there is um, the, the, there was a, a fire elemental involved uh, in the, the the issue. Um, yeah, interesting. She almost got herself killed too. I did. I. You have not been on the receiving. You have not been on the receiving end of Alice's death stare yet. You are now. <laughs> it is to me. Like, you will oh, cool. It is not yet treated as a gaze attack. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's kind of slinks away, kind of like hunches, and like I'm, I'm just going to go find. We handled food. it just fine and managed to secure the essence of the fire elemental. I would like to officially document that I'm going to be using this for personal applications and just sort of slide over the paper. I handled it just perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> She's not very strong, though. So. I, I Quintus nods. Well done. Uh, he like takes the paper. He flips through it a bit, takes school and signs it. There you go. Thank you so much. Well, not disappointed. Uh, the, um, there was, by the way, a huge increase in the amount of notices uh in particular related to an upcoming threat uh is this anything to do with the the festival of lords or uh it is indeed um actually it also involves the contracts that i'm writing right now um in a few days time uh, a group of strikers will have to dispatch um, to the border to Iritis uh, through the northern mountain, mountain pass. Um, go a bit inside it, uh, await the uh, noble caravan there and escort it safely back here. I'll mm. presume you want us far away from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, um, I do not care that much about your uh, your location, how far or close you are from that caravan. Oh. But I did overhear that um, Melisdrada um, has some plans for you concerning this pretty large um, event. 
Okay. Should we right. go swing by her? No, no. She will call you when it's necessary. All right. Interesting. Thank you. Um, if you're interested in the field study on uh, wood constructs, um, the construct from the contract that we previously mentioned is still out in the field. It is utterly fascinating and it's completely still. So uh, all the opportunity you get. Its name is Ball. It's great. Um, good luck with contracts. We'll be off. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. You good name. luck with oh, what? your job. How much gold did, uh, did we get? Uh, this is not great at counting. <laughs> You're not great at counting, huh? Uh, a pouchful. <laughs> ro roll me, uh, roll me D one hundred. I'm not great at counting. Okay. <laughs> one gold. Uh, I rolled sixty. All right. Um, is that where I lose count? <laughs> You're not quite sure. You th you think there's at least two hundred gold pieces into it, in it, uh, maybe even a thousand, <laughs> but but you kind of lost track halfway. You think, no. <laughs> there's quite some gold pieces in it. We uh, have a lot. The others, uh, it's five hundred. I think this may be a thousand. Not quite uh sure. A thousand comes after a hundred, not before. I, I, I know that. I... Did you okay. get all the steps in between, like the 100, 200, 300, 400? I got bored. I'm not going to count to a thousand. It takes way too long. I'll check later. Uh, I should have some scales around somewhere. Yeah, like you do alchemy. You have scales. But yeah. <laughs> Because I'm not going to waste my time counting. I could be reading. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your skills are probably just you have them somewhere tucked away because usually you just do it by eye. <laughs> it seems too little. Let's just toss an old bunch. <laughs> yep. All right. So we're going to go Let's fist in the north. Yeah. Let's back to Ori. Uh, huh? All right, uh, Ori. What are you doing in the meantime? Uh, Ori is looking at the notices because he, when he was talking to the people in the marketplace, he remembered something about interest on the notice board last time, and now checking what's on there concerning that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say that you uh, find each other again there, so that I only have to tell it once. Yeah. Um. The uh, notices of the uh, the bounty of the plant-like creature uh, and the escort of uh, Lawrence Keel is still present because apparently, you know, the people, the uh, newer people, um, don't find escorting someone that exciting, uh, and you know, a new creature is. Kind of scary. Uh, there are two new preparation notices. Uh, one of them uh, says that there is need of so-called royal jelly of a giant wasp queen. Uh, and luckily, a small nest of giant wasps has been reported near the city in the forest. Very luckily. Uh, and it says the contact person of that is uh, Aquint Stillman. Uh, the other one um, says a destruction will serve as well in the coming days. Uh, for this, the Mesgran Barrow, also known as the Barrow of the Sage, has been selected. Um, contact Aquint Stillman. Mm. It also says uh, with a note to it, like just underneath it, it says note. Um, this mission will, uh, this contract will take longer than most others. Be, rare, be ready to uh, to pack enough goods. Okay. 
Okay. And what did, was it? Uh, dis destruction or distraction? Distraction. Ah. So it's to distract a certain group of monsters. Uh, yes. So they don't make trouble during the festival. Yes. I presume that Ori is just sort of reading this, and at some point, mm -hmm. Nix and Elise just come up, and Elise says, "Like, oh, that note seems sounds like it's made for us." <laughs> um, which one again? Do you? Uh, um, there's so many notices. I, I I'm not Can sure I which one. Can I roll insight you're... on this? Or a sense motive, which it is in this case. Please. Uh, yeah, I will allow it. That is really, really bad. Can you make That's it a post bluff check? Uh, you make me a bluff check. That is a 26. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Why gives a pass? No. All right. I mean, this one I'll point at the destruction one. Sounds like fun. Yeah, distracting. Takes a little bit longer. Right, right. But when talking about to that guy in the marketplace and that the nobles from Itris are coming in. Wait, did you say it takes longer? Because I think uh, Quintus just said that Melistrada may have something to do for us. I'm not sure if we can Might take a one. longer job. Mm. If Melistrada has something in mind for us, she would not put it on the notice board. Mm. That's true. I think it might be yeah. good for the guild if we get into good graces with Itris and oh. getting a merchant there could help. I know, so it, I know, it, it's political, it's noble shit, but oh. it makes the world go round. And it's isn't mixed. that what we have noble teams for? You know, the, the bullshit tasks like diplomacy and stuff. We, we, we're supposed to be killing things, right? Isn't that? That's definitely more fun stuff. Yeah, uh, you do know that. Um... Quintus did say in a couple of that people would leave in a couple of days. The fact that this is noted that it takes longer does not mean that it takes weeks. It might yeah. be like, hey, mm -hmm. you're being gone for it, it's more like you're being gone for more than a day in a location where there is not food and shelter readily available. Yeah. Okay, so we have four options, right? There was the escort, that's boring, we're not doing that. There's the new plant-like monster thing. I am still up for that. There's the distraction. And there's this one, which is... Uh, what's this again? Um, I don't quite understand these... Uh, this, um... Oh, Royal Jelly is... Actually, it's it's a very fancy... St it's very fancy stuff. Killing so... wasp queens. For wasp. your information, you are an alchemist. You wouldn't know this. Uh, Royal Jelly... Um, and I think this is actually a thing, but I might be very wrong here. Uh, if I'm very wrong here in real life, this is how it works in this game world. Um, Royal Jelly uh, is the name for the stuff that basically uh, forces normal um, uh, wasps. I thought it also worked for bees, but at least wasps, uh, to grow into, uh, into a queen. Mm. Um, that sounds useful. Uh, the general stuff is not that potent to be useful enough. Um, if you manage to get royal jelly for a giant wasp, and giant wasps are massive, that stuff is great. Uh, it has uh, great healing properties, uh, and it is used in quite a lot of uh, advanced uh, life-based uh, alchemical effects. There's probably some reduction, like cheap reduction of that as the base for the cell, uh, that is catalyst, functions as the catalyst for the cell. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, Alice is just babbling uh, alchemy terminology. All right. Okay. I think I know what your preference is. I guess we could fry some wasps. Oh, yeah, that is That's absolutely not necessarily my preference. I am just against escorting a noble. Fair enough. Mm, it's not a noble, it's a merchant, so... Exactly. That's better. Not it's really better. the same. That is I've better. got a couple merchant friends. Right. I don't know him, though. It's more I that... Pick. Somebody I feel, pick. 
I mean, I feel bad for the guy if it's still not picked up after we dealt with the last one. Could uh, be good you for guilt. You would also know, and mm -hmm. my apologies that I forgot to mention this. Uh, in general, um, preparation uh, contracts are better paid because it is more important that they are going to get done. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. no contact contract ever gets left if. There's not a team that picks it up, and one of the higher ranking teams is just talking. Mm. Yeah, Seriously, probably. we need someone to do this. Uh, you're not going to okay. be paid very well, but we need someone, and then just yeah. hit us. Which uh, one? It, it's, it's also the thing like. Of these uh, again? I'm sorry? The jelly? Which ones count as preparation quests from these? Preparation again? is gathering the royal jelly uh, uh -huh. and going to the uh, barrow of the sage. Okay, so they have, from the guild's perspective, they have a priority. Yes. Okay, we should do one of those then. Mm. Now let's say that we get the jelly. All right. Maybe we can right. do the other one afterwards still. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, we'll first, let's there. go prank a novel. Yes. That's going to be fun. But we, we oh, take yeah. the notice, right? Yeah. Nix almost takes the wrong one. Nix, have you uh, had this one, Nix? Yeah, yes, 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 this one. Yes, sorry. I uh, see. Well, you you well, wanted to do uh, another one, but you can. We'll, we'll do this one first, and then we'll do that one afterwards. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll uh, we'll do this one. <clears throat> oh, Nick, have, have you ever talked with a noble before? I've heard nobles talk. I've not spoken to one. <laughs> oh, stick with me. This is going to be fun. Watch me mm -hmm. carefully. Yeah. All right. So you go to the noble estate. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to a richer part of Drydon. Uh, some people who watch you pass there kind of look at you a little bit suspicious. At least uh, her hood is up. She does not want to be recognized around here. Fair enough. <laughs> Ogumi <laughs> wants to be recognized here because Gladiator and... Yeah, I, I, kind of... most, people, most people here actually, like, when they first see you enter uh, and you are, I assume, dressed as strikers, yeah. You are decently easily recognizable. Uh, this is one of the places in the city where strikers are not necessarily unwelcome. Or I should say, they're not officially unwelcome. Mm. Uh, but it, it is kind of like, you know, you are above your station. Unless you are a noble, and in that case, don't come dressed as a striker. You know, be proud of your noble heritage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nix will just kind of low key glare back at people watching us funnily. Yeah. It doesn't help to glare back. I don't at care. Least point it really doesn't help. A few kind of like, as you pass, like look at you uh, with a bit of suspicion, quickly see, and uh, most of them actually recognize uh, uh, Ori. And they, you, you see their expression kind of seems to ease a bit, and some of them nod, some Not shrug, like big uh, smile. Uh, some give like this, this, this like, still I'm higher than you, but I acknowledge your presence. Not, and like, good, uh, good job. You're, you're a good person, uh, but I'm noble. <laughs> um. Nix is just kind of steaming after a while, but he's keeping it down quite well. At some point, and if Elise notices this, at some point she will just start sharing gossip about some of the people that we, that we meet. Mm. Like, you know, yeah. that person, he took, the first time he went fencing, he nicked himself on, uh, on his own blade, on his chin. It bled for like a week because he couldn't stop scr uh, scratching the scab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> um, there are also like two or three that you encounter mm -hmm. uh, that see Ori and that um, actually um, uh, give you a um, a like a warrior's greeting by like punching their own chest. Um, which you know is is kind of it's it's not necessarily customary. It's it's something that that warriors do. Yeah. Uh, th those are the people. Th those are the people who, um, who certainly recognize you, 
and not only are like, oh, oh, that is a famous person. Great. These are the people that are like, yeah, that's that's that one gladiator yeah. giant that we see in the arena. <laughs> um, but so anyway, uh, you make your way through the Nobles District. Uh, you have the uh, the address uh, of this noble. It's usually not that common that the group itself goes to the said noble. Uh, they usually send someone higher up from the guild. But, you know, you do you. Uh, these rules have very much lessened in, uh, in, in strictness uh, since Malice Drada uh, took over the order. Um, Remember, when yeah. nobles speak, don't speak yourself unless you're spoken to. Sure. All right, you get to the estate. Is it like a gate or like a door? Uh, there's, there's an, a gate. It is opened. Uh, there is this pathway uh, through the lawn uh, that leads to the front door of the mansion. Yeah. Walk in. All right. Nick what seems mentioned? to be moving very stiffly, kind of awkwardly. Definitely out of his comfort zone. At least we we'll uh, probably stick close to Nick's. Just she is not uncomfortable. She is just annoyed, like per persistently annoyed. Plants. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Uh, there's see. not there's not anyone in the garden working or standing because it is cold it is winter so probably if we reach the door mm -hmm. is there a bell or a knocker or... Uh, there is a knocker mm -hmm. uh, it seems to be quite old so Ori very carefully because giants <laughs> Two finger. <laughs> uh, you you knock at the door normally as other people would do normally, um, and a butler opens the door. Yes. Good afternoon, um, Orgomir, Striker Skills. Um, we were sent here to, uh, well, deliver an item requested by Lord Arthur. Lord what? Arthorn. Okay. I heard ar asshole, basically. <laughs> Lord asshole. I think, I, I think Orgolbeer would have said Arthur, but then, like, nudged it a bit so other people could hear asshole. We have probably been calling him <laughs> yeah, for that. all the way. It was like, oh, yeah, right. That was his actual name. Oh, let's stop. Wait, let's keep it Arthur. Mm -hmm. Yes, Arthur. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, the butler tries to continue with a alright, um, I can take a look at it, uh, the lord is usually very busy around this time of day when um, like you hear a door basically slam open mm -hmm. uh, and this large, jovial, noble man uh, comes to the door uh, uh and, and, and sees you and stands there and is like, Ah, Strikers Guild members! Uh, how, how grand, how grand? Uh, are... So I'm probably at his, his eye level. <laughs> you, you're at his eye level only because you're like a couple of steps down. Yeah. <laughs> um... Are, are you perhaps here to, um, uh, with something I can add to my collection? Yes, we have actually just um, solved the problem of the wooden constructs terrorizing how, the... How grandiose, how grandiose. Cruel, monster, cruel. Oh, the destruction, oh, terrible. 
He has yes. so many innocent crops slain. Kick him a bit. <laughs> horrible, truly horrible. Um, uh, I am willing to pay for it, of course. Um, oh, well, we, we would never dare to ask something like that. I mean, you do no, so no, much for the city. Don't and... worry about it. Don't worry about it. it it's, it's something I offer. I... I I, I like to to keep good relations with the guild because of the the, the absolutely astonishing and exotic items that you that you manage to uh, manage to um, obtain out there. And when I cannot ask, yet also cannot refuse, you play a very strong game, Lord Arthorn. Well, it's uh, it's it's um. A, a lot of time, a lot of things I've learned, and a lot of enthusiasm. You are your warrior on the political battlefield, and I am the one in the arena. That's our yes, I, I've seen you there. Grandiose, grandiose. Ah. Yeah, you, you're with three, I see. Ah, yes, these are my new companions who have graciously assisted me. Um, you will even see some of the, um, well, actually, very uh, talented fire claw marks of Nyx here on this wooden. Constructs remains. Fire claws, kind of truly. Demonstrates his, his yes. uh, flaming claws for a second. <laughs> truly, truly exciting. Um, if, if I may so be so uh, as rude as to ask, um, is that um, aided by alchemy or is that purely magical? It's pure magic. Uh, fantastic, metal. fantastic. Uh, an, an astonishing group I see you've gathered. Um, Well, the guild has always has its eye for talents. Exactly, exactly. I think Ori has the item, right? Yeah, yeah. Pulling it out of his bag and holding it and presenting it, I think, to the butler because presenting it to a noble itself would be a little. You present it to the butler and the noble yeah. takes it? Exactly. It's... Arthur okay. like, takes another step forward and just enthusiastically takes Ori it. Ori knows he... how to play this game. <laughs> he looks at it and he inspects it and he's like astonishing, fantastic. That's the scratch marks. It's, a... it's so authentic. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, and then he gets to his butler and he's like, so um, if you work. could please uh, transport this to the, uh, the curator's office. I can take a look at it later. Uh, now, um, since you're with three, um, uh, I, I I hope that this this payment will suffice, uh, and it will give you um, a um, small simple pouch. Mm -hmm. uh, he gives it to Ori, uh, and they contain three rather sizable trans uh, transpar uh, almost perfectly transparent green gems. Big lands. Tied around his belt. Lord Arthur, you are as wise as you are generous. Oh, thank you, thank you. If you, uh, if if you come across anything of interest ever again, uh, please don't uh, don't don't be afraid to to to, to come by, and uh, I I may be able to inspect it and uh, see what I can offer if it's truly interesting. You will uh, be the first one that will come to mind. Undoubtedly. Grandiose, grandiose. Th um, thank you very much. Thank let you. us not keep you on your busy, busy schedule. Yes, and let let me not keep you. I understand that the Strikers Guild is very busy in these times. Mm, preparation, oh, so much. I mean, we heard rumors of nobles coming in. So yes, I mean, yes, busy than ever. It, it seemed that the uh, King of Iritis has um, has himself has spoken about this matter and wants. Uh, an irritated is noble on the throne here. A curious event. Um, I know a couple of people around me who um, care deeply because of this, and some of them feel feel slightly offended. I cannot say that I particularly care about being a lord in such a busy city. It's you know, it's it's hard work. No, I will stick to my collection. A wise decision. Very wise. Good. And Ori will take a step back, small bow. Um, and uh, Thorn gives a nod. Farewell. Farewell. And Ori and he will wait close still, the door. Wait still, the Lord turns around and then he turns around. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you were right. That was hilarious. It's going to be even better. Basically, once we're out of the gate, uh, uh, at least we'll just do the network. It's going to get even better. Um, and she's just basically just starts this. She pulls out like her journal to write a note. Besides, you guys want to meet a friend of mine? Sure. Um, puts the journal. Friend of yours. In the direction of it, the Green Fair Mansion. It, is it the journal? Because it is not. Ah, good. I was worried are, for you for a second there. Are we still in the Noble District, or are we now? Green Fair Mansion um, is in the Noble District. Okay. I'm visiting oh. my friend Penelope Greenfair. Or he will not yet explain to Nick what he just did. <laughs> we'll wait for that. Give to me out. a moment. Yes. Uh, I quickly want to fetch your background, which I, annoyingly enough, cannot seem to find. Um, actually, uh, maybe this would be a, a good time for a break. Yes. Because then I can, then then I can get my files in order. <laughs> and take a break. Also important. And take a break. I mean, come on. I'm a dungeon master. I'm a game master. Excuse me. I'm a game master. I never really take breaks. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. right. Then we'll so back. we will be back in about um, 50 minutes. See you then. We see hope then. to see you see back then. Bye bye. Yeah. Hey, if you want, I'm just going to assume we're back. We are right now. I hope that. Lovely. All right. <laughs> I'm sure we are. Yeah, I can see myself starting talking as soon as the screen flips over, so that's great. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're still playing Pathfinder. We didn't decide to change systems in the break. Um, yeah, that's like let, let's just continue. I don't have anything to say. Yeah. We're uh, on our way to the Green Fair Mansion. Yes, well, you are on your way to the Green Fair Mansion. Uh, you walk a bit more uh, through the Noble District, uh, encounter a few more people again. Hi. Hi. And then you get to this, this like large, magnificent mansion. Um, and. Uh, like the entire mansion is like painted a beautiful white and really kept well, really kept white, which is quite special. Um, and you can very clearly see that a lot of the windows have all these kind of th these these very luxurious um, objects hanging there, and like this very um, almost overwhelming kind of like almost too much stuff um, that just decorates the windows. And it goes for almost the entire house. And then you get to the last quarter of the mansion where there is um, uh, you can see um, uh, that there are two columns of windows there uh, that are very nicely and plainly decorated. Like, they're still decorated, but they're very very thoughtfully decorated and decorated with things like, oh yeah, let, let's let's place flowers here and let's uh, like hang a certain uh, nice chain here that is not made of gold or platinum, but it's just like a nice copper chain that looks nice and it has something that hangs in the middle and there's like a small stone attached to it and it looks good. Um, you can also see the um, uh, the road, like this stone paved road to the front door of the mansion. And then there is a very clearly newer small path that leads around the mansion uh, to what probably used to be a servant's entrance. Mm -hmm. We are heading in that direction. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, but... We don't touch the front door. We don't go near the front door. I will be turned away instantly. What's wrong with the front door? As I said, I will be turned away instantly. If that's called that. That's 
Don't do that. That's not follow, follow Elise. Sure. And it's, it's yeah. Elise picks up like a, a very fast pace. Um, she does not like to be in front of the dimension. <laughs> yes. Uh, you get to the side door. Um, there are a few. Um, it seems that there uh, have been a few flowers painted on this. I will pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> All right. Yes. Are we breaking in? This is awesome. Are we stealing stuff? Make make me a slight hand check. Uh, that is a twenty-four. I know this lock. <laughs> you know this lock. Uh. I might even dare say you have done this before. <laughs> no, I would never. I'm not a thief. I'm absolutely not a thief. You would never, oh. except for now, when there's no real reason to. You've okay, got pretty yeah. good technique for not a thief. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not a burglar, I'm not a thief. I just have all the skills required for being one. It's not yeah, it's about that. For this, it helps especially because you've seen the key to this specific door like a thousand times, so you know what the key looks like. Done this before. <laughs> you, you've also done this before, yeah. It, it's a, a combination of get. many things. <laughs> There's a reason okay. I didn't get the key. It's because I didn't need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the the lock clicks open. Well, the door. After actually, that'll be your home. Um. Uh, a uh, a woman uh, comes around uh, comes around the corner, um, currently holding a book. Uh, did you have uh, certain descriptors of uh, this woman ready, or do you want me to fill in? No. <laughs> All right. I can if you want me to. No, it it was more like if if you want to. You know, nope. describe people from your background, then I want to allow you to do that. Uh, in that case, uh, Penelope is a um, is quite a striking woman. Um, uh, not particularly short or tall. Uh, for a noble, very plainly dressed. Um, uh, she is wearing. Uh, she's currently wearing a uh, lime green uh, dress. That is just very little frivolities, very well made. Um, uh, she has uh, she has dark hair uh, that is um, uh, pretty long, uh, well kept, uh, has a few flowers uh, stuck in her hair artistically. Um, uh, and one uh, one of the sleeves of her dress is like uh, very much, very high up, uh, leaving her arm free. Um, uh, the other one, uh, no, no, they're both. You can clearly see that this is a dress that uh, has uh, has long sleeves, but they're both rolled up. Uh, and you can see that uh, on uh, stretching across her whole arm, across one uh, her whole left arm, there is this intricate tattoo um, of uh, a bush of roses, uh, which is something that nobles do not tend to do, which is why she's wearing long sleeves. Uh, and she um, uh, she comes across the corner. She heard you pick the lock. Um, Alice, it has been a long time. It and she been? grabs your arm and pulls you in. Uh, basically pulls you into the sitting room. Uh, snaps her fingers. Uh, and a uh, servant approaches with tea, and in one breath she uh, she says, "It's go so good to see you. I want to hear everything from you. Please take a seat. Take a seat. Have some tea. 
tell me everything. Also, this is Nix. Hi. And this is Ori. You may remember him. I. He's very hard to miss. Yeah. Um, um. So this is my new actual out in the field team of Ooh. the strikers. I am actually actually back out in the field again. They gave me permission like two days ago. So we been, is it already two days? Oh my god, I haven't been by. It's it's just like this fast paced conversation. I instantly keeping up to Chile. Yeah, these people have known each other for way too long. Yes. <laughs> um, and it's just catching up for like three minutes before all the conversation toppings run out, and you're just sitting mm-hmm. there. <laughs> um, anyway. It all went so quick. You're all suddenly seated, uh, <laughs> seated around this small glass table. All with tea. You don't really remember who got it for you. Um, how the cup is less empty than it used to be, it, it just went by in such a flash, flash, you're now suddenly sitting here sipping tea. <clears throat> anyway, um, why we are here, or why I've brought them except for, you know, hmm? obvious reasons? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It means you're very handsome, Nix. It- uh-huh. I know that. You are. I made myself handsome. Well. <clears throat> we just um, visited Lord Arthorn. Ooh, a curious figure. Yeah. Um, and added like an item to his collection, which um, he, for now, still believes to be the shoulder plate of a wooden construct. Uh, <clears throat> I, I presume that you know where I'm going with this. I will let you finish because I know you like to tell me your plans, but I already know it. It is not. It, it is not. But uh, it would be absolutely great, and not just saving our skins, but also absolutely hilarious if um, the rest of the noble district also believe that. Um, I presume that there is those less educated uh, who would be absolutely fascinated. There's, there's usually people around Lord Athens, right? Always. Exactly. So if we just sow some seeds to the right people mm. and just get them to be like really excited about this new piece that he's got. Mm, come and see it and tell all their friends like oh my god he's got an actual piece and then we just get scot free and everybody's looking at a piece of wood i i hope you won't mind that lord arthur will greatly benefit from this yeah. i mean uh, he's not the worst yeah he's just an idiot and it's funny when okay. he's being an idiot fair enough he's a pretty funny idiot yeah exactly he's not the I worst like- Consider the rumor spread. Ooh, cool. He also paid us pretty decently for it, so it would be kind of fair. It was so. It would have been so rude to cut up that construct. It was so nice. Its name is Boar, by the way. Brilliant. Um, it is totally not cuddleable, by the way. In any case, you speaking you, of uh, his payment, uh, what exactly? I'm sorry, I didn't quite get what you said. Did you said cuttable or did you said cuddleable? Cuddleable, cuddleable, of course. Oh. Why would you? Okay. Anyway, circling back to that payment, what exactly uh, did we uh, did we get from him? Um, Ori takes off the pouch, and puts it things. on the table. Three uh, green little they, gems. They look pretty. What are they worth? I do feel bad. I did say he was as a price as check. Me. I'll Four. take a price check. Yeah. Looking what it's worth. Ah. Uh, What's my modifier on that? It's pretty good. Uh, oh, that is good. That's a dirty 20. Damn. Um, you think these are worth about um, 200 gold pieces a piece? <laughs> um, you tell uh, I look at that and be like, hmm. 
Um, you paid three gold for the whole armor suit. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lord Arthur really deserves to get his his worth out of that item. As I just point it, uh, as I just point, like shove them back into the pouch and tie it up. Like he, he really does. Oh no! And now I feel bad. I did say he was as wise as he was generous, and he's very. I generous. don't feel bad. <laughs> Because this is hilarious. I was speaking more the truth the whole wise. time, and this is the only time I didn't speak the truth. I'm so. <laughs> I, I mean, according to Penelope, he's still going to make bank off of this, so I guess it's fine. It's his own kind of wisdom, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely not going to tell anyone that he got ripped off by mm. a bunch of defenders. I have to say, I'm quite sure that he has several items in this collection that he knows are fakes. Mm-hmm. Not about the value of the item, it's about the perceived value. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why it's funny to give him fake items. That's why I was originally considering this stick. He's not that dumb. Are you sure? Yeah, that, I, I don't sure? think that would have worked. I'll do it I'm sure. Candy. I am yeah. sure. It would have been really if it's not, though. Even if he did believe you that it is part of a construct, he would probably not have taken it. It is not as exciting to. True. Right. It doesn't look somewhere. cool enough. It wouldn't have worked. Actually, he can't show it off. He has once refused a powerful magical wand because it looked like just a met- a small metal rod. I heard that one. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. I also heard that he once bought gunpowder uh, and swore high and low that it was some rare compound of uh, what was it again? Like this dust thing sprite that doesn't even exist. And then somebody set fire to it and it was gone. (laughs) I promise it was not me. I promise. I don't believe you. I know. I am actually for once telling the absolute and complete honest truth. I did not set fire to that gunpowder. Mm, on purpose. Okay. Um, I think we should probably get going at some point. Maybe one more thing. Have you heard anything about these lords coming in for the festival? Very little. I've not arrived yet. I heard the selection is still going on. Might take a while. Ah. Uh, well, so if you... It's a, whole, it's a whole kingdom they have to uh, get ten people from. Ten people? Ten people, yes. Oh, right. Ten potential lords come here, they will fight for the city, they will... I don't know exactly how it goes. It, it's also new to me. It's been a while since we had a new lord. Might be nice for a change. Probably better than a vampire. Uh, That's probably. That, that would be true. But then again, not much better than no lord. Yeah. Maybe we should check if they are vampires, just to be sure. Maybe not that much better than a vampire. Mm-hmm. Depends on the Lord. I heard there are quite some pretty cool people in Eretis. Well, of course, um, appreciate your work in gathering all the information. Uh, yeah. We should probably be off. If you need anything, she, we're out in the field now, so if you need anything, just holler. She will look at um, uh, she will look at Ori and say, I heard there is an entire city of giants near it is, as well as an entire city where people fight for every little squabble they have, and it's basically martial law, and for some reason it is allowed. Mm. Why don't we do that here? I don't think you've been to the slums a lot. Martial law? That is what we do here. Yeah, and also... um, I don't know. I feel that people in Dryden are generally a bit more careful with human lives. Maybe. We should probably get going. Your mission ended. All right. I wish you good luck. Of course. Thank you. And thanks Thank for you. the team. You're welcome. See you soon, lad. See you soon. All right, once we're out of the door, I'll just sort of tense the rest of it. Once we're out of the door, we gotta make a break for it. If we get caught, hmm, 
By whom? There may be trouble. <laughs> uh, as you, like, leave through the hallway, Penelope will also shout, Please do remember to lock the door behind you again. Right. No problem. Oh, shit. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Can I try? Can I try? No. These are my tools. You break them. You buy them. Mm. Break them. No. They're still mine. If you break them, they're broken and I can't lock the door. All right. We go. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a slide fan check. <laughs> That's actually a natural 14. Uh, for uh, 22. All right. You managed to unpick the lock. Yes. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Do we have to go back to the front? It's, it's not what it's called, but I call it it now because it's more fun. Sure. Hopping the fence is a bad idea. I tried that before. But I could throw someone over. You can the fence. teleport. Run! Why would you need to hop the and fence? And I look at Nyx. Oh, wait, running. Okay, fine. Grab Nyx. <laughs> Run. Hold up. Well, okay. All right. Uh, so we leave the Green Fair Mansion. And probably head back to Strikers Guild. Yeah. Yes. Ask for yes. information about the uh, Wasp Queen. Wasps. Yeah. Also, we've got a lot of money now. Especially with these. And yeah. What? How? Okay. How do you want to distribute it? I mean, we each have our well, own apartments. We... This one's easy. This one each. So. <sighs> yeah. We just have a. And I'm okay with you carrying this gold. I mean, you talked about silvering my weapons. You could just save up the money till you can do that. I mean, I'm mostly the catalyst for most of those things. Mm. I think I'd like to hang on to my own money, at least. That's yeah. Um, I can divvy up the 500. Um, is it handy to keep, like, um, maybe... 50 gold apart for in case we need it for things for the party, like food and lodging. But so uh, it. we can um, work this out tonight. Let's go. If, when we're making camp. Yeah. Okay, if you two go to the Strikers Guilds and get some information, I'll just go quickly to the arena and just check if I need to fight a couple of days or we can join you. the schedule's free. Yeah, okay. Hey, then you see the arena when there's no fighting. I have been to the arena exactly once. And I, I think I got bored and broke into like a side section of it. What? What? I mean, it, I, I totally got lost. That's absolutely what happened. My sense of direction you, is terrible. I'm pretty hmm. sure you said you broke in, though. I did not. I'm not a thief. I'm not a burglar. <coughs> thief! <coughs> so where are you going? Got some hair in my throat. Uh, yeah. All right. You uh, yeah. You approach the arena. Uh, it is pretty big. It is a little bit comparable to the um, to the Colosseum, like that kind of structure. It's not that big. Mm -hmm. Um. But it is pretty. It, it's pretty well made. Uh, it's currently quiet there. I try to find a ringleader or anyone else. Yeah, you you just go through the the official entrance, yeah. which is like not connected to the building at all. But it's like this small side building that that is really small. And you open the door, and the only thing inside there is a stairway down. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it kind of goes to the underground area that um, that is kind of like where the actual fighters live or do their things. Um, uh, you enter. Uh, you eventually uh, find the ringleader uh, who is overlooking um, some construction work that they're doing at the arena, it would seem. Planning something new? A new theme? New buildings? Ori! Really, that? My favorite giant. How many giants do you know? One. Very little. 
<laughs> but he's still my favorite. <laughs> smooth. Very smooth. Yeah, we're uh we're trying we're gonna try some new things. Oh. Um I you've probably heard. Um Nobles like, are coming here. Yeah. Uh, and we want to make it an absolute spectacle. Ah. So uh, we're going to do some landscaping. Uh, we have several ideas for, um, you know, easily transportable things like, um, kind of like changing the landscape around a bit. Mm. What's uh, it going to be? The sand, the sand floor is, is great and all, but, mm-hmm. you know. Want to stay ahead of competition. 24-hour plants might be useful. Yes, we're looking at various plants. Um, We are uh, currently working on a system, and you like points at what people are constructing now. Um, Currently working on a uh, a system that can actually uh, create a flow of water around here. Uh, so that we can imitate a river flow, because we think that would be mightily interesting. Ooh. Should get some uh, some sea cats for people to fight. Or taste, possibly. Uh, before we we put the entire arena underwater, it might take a while, but you never know. Yeah. Add in some stepping stones or dams and make it interesting. That You're onto something. Yeah, I know. It's my job. <laughs> Anyway, um, we had these plants lying around for a bit, but you know, now with a new noble and such, uh, we, we want to execute it right now, a bit fast. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm afraid that um, there's not much fighting going on these days. Yeah. Uh, we'll say it's for a couple of days. I hope to be done in three days. Yeah. Uh, but I heard that you already have uh, new work, so I don't think that would be much of a problem. Do the part-time Strikers Guild job is going to be less part-time than I expected it to be? Well, it is the Strikers Guild. Yeah. Still, the arena is kind of my home, so... If you need me, I'm here. And we're happy to have you here. So, uh, yeah, I would just say don't forget about us. No, Hop never. by sometimes. No. Yep. Um, if you ever just want to have a fun fight somewhere in between, we can probably schedule, uh, schedule a uh, special surprise appearance somewhere. I'm sure the audience would love it. Maybe we should have a match. Orgamir looks, looks at Nick's. Uh, little ringleader kind of kind of shakes his head and says, "Ori, you're gonna lose that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least what my friend, doing. my friend, I do not know your name, but uh, it's Nix. Everyone's a friend of mine. Nix, 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 Nix. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know you people from the Strikers Guild. Too much action. The arena fighting. The the arena fighting is not only about winning or Mm. striking hardest. It's about a show. It's about entertaining the audience. If you were to be all powerful and you could knock down any enemy in one blow, I would not hire you. Because Mm. that is way too boring. But of course. If you think that you do have the show element, I can um, put in some practice rounds. Maybe I'll give it a try someday. Not sure. Pulling my punches is not really my style. I need to practice that. You could watch a few class. You could watch a few matches and then see if you still want it. Maybe. Get you a good front row seat to the action. Hmm. We do have other work to attend to. Yeah. We'll be stopping by. What? Ooh. 
That sounds interesting. I'm going to write that down. Oh. All right. He, he takes out a very small notebook. Want us to uh, grab you some eggs or something? What? Hatching those things? No way. I'm going to import them. <sighs> Fair <laughs> enough. Let's not take a job when it, when it eventually shows up in the Strikers Guild. Mm. I know what I'm doing. I keep dinosaurs here. We know. Don't dinosaurs, worry. Dinosaurs, lions, tigers. Yeah, yeah I mean, most people are first impressed by the dinosaurs. Yeah. Got any sea cats? No, yeah, it's okay. Like did I said, not yet. Arena is not yet underwater. Did you have sharks? When was it? No, it wasn't sharks. You've never done water before, have you? No, not yet. Could be interesting. Just a shark fin going. Yeah, I mean, I I guess you know there would be water enough in Dryden, considering the awful weather. We could fill something up. But not now. Well, let's take it easy. Let's take small steps and first landscape the entire area into different biomes. We'll be back in a few days and let's see what we can do. Glad to have you back. Have fun and uh, make it Bye. count. And don't die. Pretty obvious. All right. We're going to head back to the Strikers Guild. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yes, you arrive at the Strikers Guild. It is the and same as can, you left it. I think, yeah, we're going to head to the library, I think, because we need a Quintus for basically any contract. A Quintus is sitting in the same spot. You can see that when you first entered, there was this pile of paper on his left, and this pile of paper on his right. It's now roughly reversed. <laughs> he looks up from his paper. Well, we had another notice that we wanted to uh, take a look at. And he hands, Good. hands the notice Good. about the uh, wasps. He takes it. Ah, yes, royal jelly. Extremely potent alchemical ingredient. I've already given them the lecture on Good. the royal jelly. They got very pissed at me. <laughs> yes. Well, welcome to my job. There's a wasp nest. Giant wasp nest. Uh, new one, recently discovered. Uh, were plans to remove it, but. You know, as always, jobs to do did not seem as um, relevant at the moment, as urgent. Turns out, good decision on our part. We need some royal jelly, and uh, those creatures ain't gonna give it willingly. Well, so yeah, very convincing. There is a uh, the wasp nest is. Um, Two hours travel east of here, a uh, bit into the forest. Uh, if you have a map of the area, which you do, I know that it comes in the back. Um, I generally hope you still have it. Um, I can, Perhaps I can write down where it is. We've got it. It doesn't need to be written down. Memory is not that bad. I mean, it is a big forest. I've got it. All right. I've got a map. All right. Oh. And it's, you already gave directions. I not, might not have right. eidetic memory, but I, I, I do remember a lot of things. All right. All right. Whatever mm -hmm. you want. Now. <sighs> <laughs> Before you go and ask any questions about whether we could farm these animals and whether you shouldn't kill them because their royal jelly might be useful for a later time, please do also get rid of them. Because no, when we take their royal jelly, they become even more aggressive. And uh, that's going to cause problems. 
Um, nice wasp, got it. You can oh, do this easily in a day. It might be a little bit late for it now. Yeah, um, I think we should head out tomorrow. But um, yeah, be careful. There's there's things and there are, uh, there's things can be vicious. Uh, be sure you do have some anti venom with you. Uh, speaking of which, did you um? Use any ingredients in your last? Uh... Ah, yes, I use the uh, liquid ice on a all right uh, fire elemental. That so sounds you... like a very good use for it. If you I want, would... I'll spend an hour in the lab making it myself. Then nobody else has to bother with it since we're taking the rest of the day off anyway. Frankly, for only yeah. If tomorrow. you want to, then go ahead. Yeah. I want. Yeah, it just needs access to the catalysts. That's right. I will come with you. Right. <laughs> I'll take Nyx with me. All right. I'll see you guys in like... <sighs> and it's going to be an hour and a half. <laughs> because you're being supervised. <laughs> smart choice. Equity, smart choice. Okay. <laughs> Right. Um, yeah, so you go to the alchemy lab, uh, and Quincy goes with off, you. Not because, not because the process takes longer, because that's the exact same, because bureaucracy is now actually a thing. Um, getting proper permission from the catalyst, it's it's a bit more like getting to the catalyst, retrieving the catalyst, locking it away properly, like property safety measures around the catalyst. Yeah, it, 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 it would be like that, were it not that Quintus is going with you. So mm-hmm. Quintus just walks up to the clo- uh, to the cabinet, uh, puts the key in it, opens the door, takes out these um, this jar that is entire that is just entirely opaque because of uh, what has been condensed within it. Uh, and he closes uh, the lid, and he opens the jar and just says, "This white." Material comes out of it. It kind of looks like a combination between snow and steam. <laughs> so pretty. Sorry. Um, I'll get to work and make sure. It's all right. Properly. You get on with the basics. I will prepare the catalyst so that you don't have to. <laughs> Thank you for that. That is ever so kind of you. <clears throat> Uh, he prepares the catalyst uh, so that it can be very easily used and has basically no chance of accidentally like falling into the potion and being lost forever. Or something of the like. Uh, he is going to, like, when he has this set up, which takes five minutes, he is going to leave you alone. Yeah. It's like, the, it's, it's like, oh god, when do I get to do this myself? Which is exactly the point when I acquired the, mat- the cat- catalyst myself. So that is the general frustration. So it's Just put it back in the jar when you're done. Absolutely. Have fun. And uh, he walks off. I take Nyx with me to the apartment. Alright. Nyx, I was actually wondering if you could help me. <clears throat> sure. With what? Well, I have this um, small poem that I've written in Giant, and I actually wanted to write it in common too. And I was just wondering if you could just, you know, sit next to me and just see if I can get it right. Um, I, I, I'm uh, sure, but um, I, I'm I'm very tired, so I'm just gonna lie down. You could just just read it out loud, and then uh, then I'll uh, I'll 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 check your I'll, your spelling. I'll just. While you... I'll just show you and double check. So I'll just say the word to you, and yeah, if you yeah. think it's all right. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So, takes out two papers. Starts, okay. Or, oh, Miss Holdy. Okay. Oh, this one's actually pretty easy because this is a god's name, Emir. And writes it down. Puts it on the table. Okay, so you have the I here, the M. E R, so this is Emir. I think it's correct, right? 
Yeah, yeah, that, that looks. Uh, yeah, that looks. Right. Let's double check again. This, so this yeah, is yeah, the I'm Y. Just doing CGI. Um, mm -hmm. So this one's the three one. So three legs. So that's the M. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And the I mm -hmm. just it's not the Y with the two ones, but just one with a dot above yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah thanks for helping me. I'm, I'm terrible yeah, as you're welcome. Writing in common. Uh -huh. And the R, I always love the R. I mean, you know, just like the the ring it has to it, and the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great, great it's letter. Amazing, it's a great letter. Okay, uh -huh. so Emir, so it's Emir, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. After about an hour of this, Alice will come probably just sort of barge in. The moment Alice comes in is lonely. Put down a bottle of ice, draw out a book. Mm -hmm. Thanks for helping me, Nick. And yep, you're welcome. Um, probably spends like an hour and a half just saying he's translating, but actually teaching Nick how to write and read. Oh. <laughs> oh, well played. Well played. <laughs> All right. I may or may not catch Nick's later uh, uh, on kind of scratching, <laughs> trying to scratch an N and then. Getting confused about whether it's an I or a Y, and he's actually not quite sure how he wants to spell it. But yeah, <laughs> if you could help me later, that will be perfect. I just I'm tired right now. I can't go on any longer. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really tired as well. So yeah, what that's. What are you working on? I was working on an, uh, a poem actually. Yeah, just a little. Uh, I was just helping, helping. Can I see? A giant. I'm working on it. Well, in that case, takes out the giant poem and sends it to you, and little gives it to you. You're just you just notice like at least squinting at it and like grabbing out her giant, grabbing your giant dictionary that she probably put in the bookcase. Is uh, that twelve centimeters or, or is the that's... giant dictionary? Like, is it... <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, okay. She has put some relevant books in the bookcase. So it was probably like dictionary giant, probably giant to uh, Oren or something, because that is her name. It would, it would be giant to Terran, let's be honest. Uh, it would yeah. first be giant to Terran, and then it's like these, these fake. Oh, I totally imagine that you have got this, uh, this giant to Terran book. And like on every page, like you've changed a few small minor things of like the small writing differences between Terran and Auron. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think this is pretty good. I am not sure. My giant is not up to par. Yeah. Like the format though. Thank you. I mean, it's a pretty it's... giant custom. I mean, we all like train and you train your bodies, but you also have to train your mind sometimes. So you wrote this. Yes. That's so cool. Thank you. Train your mind. I. Hmm. It's important to sharpen your mind. I guess. You want to say something? Yeah, I just want to make clear for everyone who is watching and or listening that when we say probably, it usually means that is exactly the case, but we still have to. <laughs> agree with each other before we say it right. directly. <laughs> so when we say that something is probably the case, if it's not in character, it is absolutely the case. Probably. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I think we're going to go to bed and uh, yeah. Yes. Before bedtime, the, the, it, like this small pouch on Elisa's side just starts smelling foul and it's like, oh god. Hate this scraping up contents. Oh, again, once again. Stuff. Oh, at least. I told you it was going to evaporate. I mean, the alchemist fire doesn't do that. She pulls the stopper out, and there's like this cloud of smoke that comes out of this lightly orange smoke. Mm. And for a second, you're like, oh my god, she just opened alchemist fire. This is going to explode. And it's not. It's just like this vapor that dissipates. Actually, that smells a lot better. Yeah, that's that's much better. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, it's not that different from gunpowder. It's very so different. Just cleaning from like the supplies. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Cleaning the supplies so that in the morning she can fix it again. So that in the morning it's not worse than it is now. All right. Uh, you all have a nice night's sleep. Uh, you can sleep well. Do you all sleep here in the apartment? Yeah, probably. Make sleep here. Yeah, we'll, I think we're be for this evening sleeps here. I think we'll also have set up like the the a, a dummy with the wooden armor, dressed in dressed in the wooden armor. So it's like <laughs> centerpiece in that yes. room when you entered it is like immediately you see like a trophy. Like, we actually did something, okay, guys. Look at this. We did something. It is pretty cool. We better make sure the Lord Arsenal never finds out. Or we just say it's my old armor if it comes in. I mean, yes. For the Lord to come in here, yeah, why the need to be particularly famous? Or really, 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 really pissed off. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> has one. to go very, very right or very, very wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. Probably wouldn't come to that. No, I think you'd actually have to like, sleep with his wife or something. Wouldn't be the worst thing I ever did. Oh. I don't want to know. There's kids around here. I was sort of <laughs> as it makes sense as like, there's okay. kids around here. I'm not a kid. Yeah, but the same like. But, uh, <clears throat> Keep telling you the, the small form is it's, it's strategic. It's for no, I'm going to yes, bed. Yes, absolutely, and I totally believe you. <laughs> no matter what you say, I absolutely believe you. <laughs> You're right. Argumir just sitting in his chair, just looking at this interaction. <laughs> I would not give bottled lightning or liquid ice to a kid, to an actual kid, kid. Yeah. That Sound like a bad idea. Well, given your chaotic nature, you probably would give them something. I mean, I give firecrackers to my little brother. There you but go. that's safe. That is perfectly safe. They blow up in a very controlled manner, and I only give them to him when I'm actually supervising. So would you give Nick some firecrackers? Of course. So you would give him the same as your tiny little brother? Yeah, but Nick, I wouldn't have to supervise. He could just toss them and be like, fine. I don't need dumb firecrackers, my little kid. I haven't made them in forever, so when this festival comes around, I am I gotta do that. Just yeah. have to. We should visit okay. the festival when it's well, here. I don't, don't care don't about your firecrackers. I, I, I never mind. <laughs> I mean, eat some snacks at the festival. Go into some. Like rides and stuff. It can be fun. Throw some firecrackers at some nobles' feet. Yeah. Watch them okay, dance around. Fun. It's brilliant. The food's usually good too, Nick, so. Take they sell like loads of food on sticks also, which is yeah. great. Hmm. Food on sticks. Mm -hmm. So you can eat it and burn it. That is good. For now, morning. I am done with my alchemy. And the alchemy is just sort of full up. It's going to be a day, so don't need to take it. Uh, should we head out? Is it uh, morning now? Or I thought we were still going to sleep, basically. I thought we already did that. <laughs> Me and uh, the flesh, no. Alice, <laughs> just slipped uh, I, I don't think you did just yet, but what? let's say you did now. <laughs> okay. I was sure. so sure. <laughs> it play, it went a phone. little bit weird uh, yeah. because yeah, you said, oh, like, you. "Oh yeah, let, let's go comments. to bed." You, you said, "Let's go to bed," and then the conversation lasted a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. it's what it usually does, you know, when you yeah. it's like, "Oh, we should go to bed," and then you're still talking for like two hours. Right. So we slept. It's yeah, morning. You have successfully slept. What uh, you did? YouTube. Someone comments like, "If I'm right or not." We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Actually, when this video uh, goes up on YouTube, just someone comment. <laughs> great. Sure. Anything comment that would be, that would be great. Right. Then you can sleep. Then... No, no, it doesn't even care if, if it 
is a comment about if Mira was right. Just, just someone comment. <laughs> All right. Don't leave that space empty. Are we heading up? Let's sure. mash some qu some wasps then. Make sure All your right. anti toxin is close to you. Yeah, the question is if it's anti toxin or anti plague, because both could be applicable. I don't know if these wasps actually spread diseases or poisons. So it's a difference. Uh, you would know that um, wasps in general are uh, poisonous. No, nope. or venomous. I'm sorry, are venomous. Uh, is, isn't venomous that if you touch it, it's also no. It's about if poisonous is if you ingest it, it kills you. Uh, oh, venomous okay. if it attacks you, it kills you. Okay. Then they would be venomous. That's why you have a walking library with you. <laughs> At least telling the difference between venomous and poisonous. Yes, this is actually we won't go into great detail about like anything um, you will ask about it. You will get like some villagers like. <laughs> All right. So they're mm. safe to touch, but don't get stung. Got it. It is that simple. Give me just a moment. Also, maybe unnecessary to mention, but I think that killing the wasps first is a good idea, but maybe make sure that we don't damage the nest too much. I don't know how much of the royal jelly will spill. The more we can gather, the better. Bottom out? Yeah. Look, uh, gathering jelly, that, that sounds like your stuff. I'm going to be killing wasps. I will try not to burn the whole hive down. That's that's what I was asking. Just don't burn the whole hive down immediately. That's that's what I'm asking. All right. Do we still have time for this? Mm, yeah. Not sure. It's been almost three hours, I think, total. Yeah, it, it's now kind of this awkward timing. Like, yeah, with the comet, we can go quite something over it, but it's also like it's a half hour early. Um, Let's do it. We can run a little late, maybe? Yeah, sure. Uh, probably not too late from my side. Uh, <laughs> let's just get to the business quickly. Um, you enter the forest, you go in, uh, you go and look for the nest. <laughs> I uh, want someone to make me a survival check. Yeah. To see if Not you can me. find it. All right. I will also make one. I will assist uh, naturally. Uh, all right. Oh. <laughs> and and I, I don't think you need help. Um, Nick will still try to assist or pretend like uh, he's assisting. As you kind of like enter the forest, you realize that all the directions you have gotten. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, from Aquintus were in the forest to the east. Mm -hmm. And the entire area east of the city is forest. He offered to give you a map. <laughs> uh, Someone but luckily, um, Ori, you're, you're from your uh, giant heritage, uh, you're Very a bit big. in touch with nature. Mm -hmm. Not as much as many others, uh, but still you, you have this slight connection. Mm -hmm. And just by the natural sounds of the forest, you very quickly pick up a soft humming that seems to be too deep to, be, uh, to come from normal forest creatures. Um, and as you make your way there, you do encounter this, um, I want to say a small nest. It is pretty huge. Um, as in, it, it seems to have been made in kind of this, this like, this like natural cave opening. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
uh, where now there's just this thick um, paper-like structure. I uh, kind of and... like the idea of, of, of Or just having like picking up lower frequency sound waves because he's so big, you know? <laughs> like elephants. I'm calling you fat. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Come on, comment and call him a jerk, please. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, you can now see it and hear the buzzing. Uh, you do not see any of the wasps currently, but you definitely hear them. Nix is in this small form with his bow drawn. Um, we need to be careful not to get swarmed. How about this? Uh, Alice pulls out a smoke stick. What All right. Let's smoke them out. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Let's see. Trident, swords, pistol. I feel like we need some cover so we don't get swarmed entirely by these things. Um, I mean, relatively, this is not a particularly large nest, so it shouldn't be too many wasps in there. Yeah, yeah. And giant wasps are generally with less than uh, normal sized wasps. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But it might be good. I mean, I'm wearing full plate armor. I could create an Aegis, draw them out a bit while you guys take them out from a distance. How long does your egg is last? Um, or we will know that Robert does not immediately. Uh, I think about three minutes. An egg is for one hour per cost level. Three yeah, hours, yeah. never mind. Egg is are, are Put it up, I'll throw the smoke stick, we take cover behind you. All right, take those trident shields, create an egg is. Got spell points to not concentrate on it. Give me a second, I want to prepare. Uh... I can do an enhancement last for three minutes. That's good. Uh, Nix is going to do a, a dual physical enhancement on himself with a trait as a bonus. So that's going to be two spell points. I'm going to take strength and dex and air mastery, I think. Yeah. Air mastery makes things that are flying uh, have minus one on uh, attack rolls against me. All right. Also damage rolls, I believe. I'll have to check. Yes, I think it's also damage rolls. Both. All right. Light smoke stick. And yes, basically, from 20 feet away or something, just toss it. Uh, hopefully, into the nest. If not, right below it. I presume you want to roll for this. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. I do have to throw anything feet, so I presume that this applies. Yeah, you're throwing something, right? <laughs> uh, so that is eleven percent. Um, that is a ranged attack roll. How does this work? Uh, just give me a ranged attack roll. Yeah, that is seventeen, eighteen total. 18 total. All right. Yeah. You managed to throw this um, this smoke stick into the nest and it begins to smoke. You have now instantly aggravated the entire nest of wasps. You may all roll for initiative. This might have been <laughs> a bad idea. Well, it was almost 17, but no, 11. Uh... I've got a 10 with a modifier of 3. I was busy throwing a smoke stick, okay? <laughs> and was that a good idea? Yes! It was a good idea. The it GM just said you aggravated an entire nest. Did you Ori, what did you have? 11. 11. It was better than poking the nest, which was my second idea. Alright, what did you have? A 9. Uh, just because that idea was better does not make it a good idea. Did you have better ideas? I would have just drawn them out one by one. How? Poke Making it a bit. noises? Find no. one, poke it a bit. 
and fogging it would also be angry with them. In any case, they're in a fog cloud of 10 by 10 right now. Mm -hmm. Which are so, going to flee. They don't know what's attacking yet. Right, let's see. Um Five wasps fly out of the smoke. It's only five. They are the size of a normal person, and their stingers are about the size of a dagger blade. Mm. Hey, it's big. <laughs> um, you were standing at the front, right? I think uh, Ori. Orgami was standing in front. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I should have picked up more dice. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, all five of them are going to swarm you and attack you. Uh, they're flying around you. They get flanking bonuses. Uh, you're not going to be it. You're not going to be it. You're not going to be it. What's your armor class right now? 23. <clears throat> All right. Uh, their stingers do not see, uh, do not manage to penetrate uh, your armor. Yes, yeah, what's the confusion? It was a bad idea. Uh, another wasp comes out. And you realize that uh, the ones, the five that you're facing right now are workers. This is definitely a soldier wasp. Which I think it's also... So it's works with wasps, right? Uh, it is with giant wasps. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Probably. <laughs> uh, this one is about the size of a horse. And um, its stinger is about the size of, like, a sword. Like a short sword, mm -hmm. kind of? Yeah. <laughs> about that. Uh, this one's also going to try to attack you. That's the best nope. you can. Oh fuck! <laughs> um, Ori. Yes. It is your turn now. <laughs> I, <I'm> the, oh. <laughs> okay, so the big one is most threatening. So I think I'm just going to go for that one. All right. And I would like to use my frost blast with this. Uh oh yeah, you've tried in the shield right now. Yeah. 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 All right. Go ahead. That's a uh, 17 to hit. A 17 does hit. Ah! Yeah. Okay. D10 and two D6s. For five points of piercing damage and 11 cold damage. And it Ooh. has to succeed on the fortitude save. Oh, wait, I did it wrong because I also have to apply my bonus to that. So that's nine points of piercing damage. Mm. Nine is set off. Instead uh, of five, right. So nine right. piercing, eleven cold, and has to make I, a fortitude save. I rolled a natural twenty on my saving throw. I'm afraid. Then, then I guess that makes it. <laughs> yeah, probably. But uh, I think Nyx... it did good damage. Yes. Uh, Nick is like shit. This was a bad idea, uh, and he's going to uh, quickly shoot at the uh, soldier wasp as well. All right. Uh, and I'm going to spend a spell point to make my uh, blistering blast more powerful on this attack. So let's see if I hit. Oh, I don't think so. What is it? That is a. Oop. That is a 10 total. Oh. Not gonna... No, 10's not going to be it. I'm afraid. 
Um, that is a shame. Too many wasps around Ori, and you have to be, you're like trying to aim for one specific wasp, while at the same time making sure you don't hit Ori, and they're all swarming around there. It's, it's hard. I appreciate it. Uh, Alice. I would like to uh, pull out one of the two flasks of alchemy fi uh, alchemist fire that I prepared this morning uh, and find as much of a cluster of the workers that I can find and just toss it at one of them in there. Uh, considering that, um, because alchemist fire is still is a splash weapon, right? It is. Yeah. Um, there is uh, there is an Ori standing there. Yeah, but the splash damage is not that bad. All right. And I do recall Ori having fire resistance to some degree. All right. But no, I, I might be wrong on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll find out. That's a... We'll find out. In any case, it is not going to hurt, hurt Ori um, as much as it is going to do more damage to everything around it. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Make me an attack roll. <laughs> Am I gonna fix this? I am never gonna be able to fix this. That is a natural two. <laughs> That's what becomes... I rolled as well. I rolled a two as well. Which Good thing we didn't roll once, and we would have both just nailed Ori. Probably. All right. I probably open mean... it like open it before throwing the relay. Oh shit! And then just turns and toss it at my feet or something. Uh, no, you, you do throw it. Uh, it still does splash damage. Uh, it does also land at Ori's feet. Uh, Ori, you take two points of fire damage. I and, don't uh, have any resistance because I did not have the Aegis up for fire resistance because I did not expect to be hit by fire! Exactly. Sorry. Uh, all you five of the you're... worker bees also take the Working two with, fire right? damage. Yes! I did more damage to your enemies than I did to you. No, you did also two damage to them. Yeah. <laughs> So I did a total of 10 points of damage to our enemies and 2 points to you. Oh, of course. Use your own logic to talk that you're still putting right. my character on fire. <laughs> you do not catch fire! Mm. Yeah. Alright. Uh, the wasps are once again uh, trying to sing uh, Ori. Uh, nope. Well, it's uh, pretty... Tough. Giant wasp. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they're all giant wasps. Soldier wasp. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, two more soldier wasps come out of the nest. <laughs> they seem to have been delayed by the smoke. <laughs> uh, but they're out now. Oh, and uh, yeah. One of them is going to Nyx and one of them is going to Alice. So Nyx. Okay. It has minus one on its attack roll. Uh, yes. But still, what is your armor class? 19 right now. 19. All right. Uh, it fills. Uh, and against um, Alice? An 18 to beat. That's a natural 20. Ah. Oof. Uh, but it's not a confirmed crit. Oh, cool. Uh, still, you do take ooh, 13 points of piercing damage. All right. Oh. Uh, and you may make me a fortitude save. Can it be quite literally any other save? That's not nope. true, by the way. Because uh, this is a save against poison. Uh, that's a natural 17 for dirty 20. All right. Yeah, you're fine. Nice. All right. If it had been bad, I could have done something about it. Yeah, uh, or exactly. it. keep attacking at the soldier wasp. Again. Yes. Now attacking with a frost blast. Thank you. That's a 21 to hit. Easy. That's for uh, tw 11 points of piercing damage. And how much cold damage? And 8 points of cold damage. All right. And again, it has to make a fortitude. fortitude no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, because you pierce it on your trident. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to smash it into the other wasps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who managed to um, uh, free, do not be hit by it, but still, uh, you splat down this giant wasp. Just splat them with, just pierce them with a trident, it works. 
Nix. I'll never try that. <laughs> okay. My turn? Yes. All right. Uh, I'm going to put my bow away as a move action and attack with my claws at this fucker right in front of me. Uh, you know see? Uh, with a, uh, I'm again going to spend a spell point to try and hit harder. All right. All right. My, uh, yeah. String blast. Uh, let's see, first claw. You can do that. That is a nineteen, which is crit range for my claws. You may confirm that. And that is a seventeen, which is, comes to a twenty-seven total. Damn. Nice. That's a confirmed crit. Yes. See, that is. And a fury. Got <laughs> a fury. Uh, fifteen uh, bludgeoning. And, and slashing damage, mm -hmm. and then the destruction. Let's see. That is a total of twenty-two fire damage. Damn, that is a lot. Yeah, is that enough? Uh, and how much 18. piercing damage was it again? The, to the total was uh, fifteen. From it's not piercing; it's bludgeoning and slashing. I'm sorry, blessings. It's exactly not that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, not, yeah. It's late. I'm tired. Uh, and oh, no, wait, 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 dead. wait. Uh, Whoa! Sorry. I actually, yeah, that's supposed to do half damage because that was the first claw. The second claw also hits because that's a dirty twenty, so it definitely died. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. would definitely. Die. Uh, you you skewer it. Uh, oh. You just. Slice it in pieces, and then to add insult to injury, those pieces now catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, another wasp comes out of the nest. It is um, absolutely enormous. Uh, it is very clearly the queen wasp. And its stinger is about the size of a great sword. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to uh, fly to Alice. Oof. That is perfectly justified. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> they don't like the smoke. And that is a 19 to hit. This is not by any chance a ranged, non magical ranged attack, is it? Nope. Hits. Uh, you take 10 points of damage. And it may make me a fortitude save. All right. Yes. Again, a fortitude save because poison. I oh. am uh, using two uh, inspiration points to add a d6 to that. All right. Uh, so then I'm done. Oh. Come on, d6. I need high numbers. Yes. That's a five. So that brings me to seventeen. Wow, it's not enough. Fuck. <laughs> seventeen. Wow. You take two points of constitution damage. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. Two As this venom uh, eats away at your flesh. All right. I am looking really, really rough. <laughs> uh. Well, you can do something about that now because it is your turn. Um, <clears throat> All right. Um, escaping this thing seems to be a bad idea. It's really bad. Teleport. Uh, Nix will shout. Also, also allows attacks of opportunity. Does it? You can take five foot step. Yeah. Yeah. So five foot. I could do a five foot step. Um, but the question is to where? Uh, actually, I have a pretty... <laughs> oh god, that's a terrible idea. Uh, I would like to take a five foot step back. Mm -hmm. Split the blade. <clears throat> and then teleport right next to the nest where there should be smoke covering me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. So, you just see a, at least like Hold up the blades in front of her, in, in front of us. Just like step back and boom, vanish and completely disappear from sight. Uh, uh, and I think that is my entire turn. 
Probably. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Uh, the wasps. Uh, start to realize this isn't working. Uh, that soldier is dead. Uh, the soldier was that was. No, they're both dead. Uh, the soldier was that was with Alice is going towards Nix. And. Nope. Oh, absolutely misses you. <laughs> uh, Ori. Should I demoralize wasps? I'm not sure. No. <laughs> They're probably I not smart enough. It. It's like a hive mind, so you probably can't scare it. <laughs> hive mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's terrible. So there's like five wasps what? around me? Yeah. What workers? It, it's it's that that's where hive mind comes from, right? Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's kind it's of funny good. though. It's like <laughs> I think we're missing something, Chris. Let's yes. just let's attack one of the wasps, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Let, let, wasp. just, just attack one of the wasps. Ooh, J- yeah, just go one. and kill it. 21 to hit. That's hit. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, four. Oh, my God. I rolled a 10 on the D10. So Wait 14 points of piercing damage and 6 points of cold damage. <laughs> You, you like, you puncture it. You, you, it, it's your blow is so hard. Mm-hmm. The trident isn't really a piercing uh, weapon anymore. You just managed to smack it so hard with the point of the trident that it, it basically just died from the impact, then got pierced, and then also frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give an enthusiastic cheer because I just downed an enemy, which is yeah. one of my boasts. So both of you could get four you temporary points. You cannot see Alice. I cannot see Alice. Can I? Oh. No, so Nyx gets four temporary hit points. Got him. All right. And then it is your turn, Nyx. Good. And I may be needing those hit points. All right, there's a soldier wasp in front of me right now, isn't mm-hmm. it? Right, and yeah, yeah, then Nyx is just going to keep with the claws. Uh, and he's going to attack that. I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna spend a spell point to do more damage. I'm just it feels right. necessary to just kill these things as fast as possible. So and that's another nineteen. Damn. Let's see if I can confirm that. That is a two. I don't think I confirmed that. No. <laughs> just balance it all things. Okay, what's the first claw? So that's a hit. And this is a 16, that becomes a 26 total. So That's it, as well. Two claws, all right. And let's see for damage. Uh, that's one, two, three, that's um, 13 uh, slashing bludgeoning damage. All right. And three, four, D, six, oh. And 17 fire damage. I rolled pretty well. Oh, We barely survived, I think. It is looking really bad, but it is just alive. Right. Uh, the Wasp Queen is going to Ori. And this one is enormous, even for your standards. Hi. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I keep forgetting uh, the two extra fire damage I get from Elementalist. So, all right, two dead. more damage. <laughs> Yay! I killed <laughs> I keep forgetting that. I really need to remember. You, you like, you slash at it, and it, it's clearly hurt and has these burn marks, but it still seems to be alive. And you already had this first flash of fire that comes just after your claws. And then there is this very small, even further after effect, and that manages to down it. <laughs> that was like just too much. Good job, Nyx. Whoa! Wait, what's going on? Um, queen wasp. Big yeah, wasp. The, the queen oh, wasp no. uh, is pretty big, but not necessarily bad red stabbing you. It missed? Yeah, at least. Yeah. All right. Uh, I would... You want to make me a fortune save? Oh, god damn it. Oh, damn. 
That is much better. Uh, but I am still going to use an inspiration in order to make sure uh, that this does not happen again. Um, so I am down to two inspiration points, taking my d6. Not much better. It's a 19. That's pretty good. 19 is enough. Yes. Uh, you managed to resist the poison for now. For all the one. Uh, all right, all right. How much is it to take a vial of anti uh, toxin? Uh, I would say um, bonus cheese. Swift and move action. All right. Uh, in that case, I. Provide that like... you have it on your. on like a file or belt. I have a bandolier. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll grab that and down it. Yeah. And I hear what? the sounds. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, and I hear the sounds of the comet going on. I consider how terrible I feel. And I'm going to take one step forward out of the mix. So five foot forward. Five Not more. Yeah. And uh, cast this uh, concoction of iron powder and a little bit of my own blood that is currently covering me. Uh, in the end, this ignites, and uh, I would like the Wasp Queen to make me a fortitude save to resist my blood control. All right. That is a 24. Oh, God Whoa. damn it. Yeah. I am it's not a big creature. <sighs> I know. A lot of blood. Basically, you catch this flash of Elise just throwing this up, and then she steps back into the fog, and you hear just like this curse coming out, and like, fuck. Okay. But yeah, that's my turn. All right. Uh, the wasps are going to leave you, Ari, and are going to move towards Nyx. All but Did the I, green wasp. Does that mean I get an attack of opportunity on one of them? Yes, because you can only take one attack of opportunity a turn. Yeah, so I assume I can't use my destructive blast for that because it's nope. a reaction. That's a uh, 18 to hit. That's it. For eight points of piercing damage. Right, it's looking rough, but it's still it's not standing. It's still flying. Take that one. <laughs> uh, Nix, hope. Oh, I'm sorry. There are four of them, not five. Don't forget my uh, air uh, mastery. Yes. What is your armor class? Uh, it is 19 still. Right. So you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. One of them manages to hit you. Which is more than what they've done against Ori. The only thing that damaged me was Alice. <laughs> Uh, you take two points of piercing damage, mm -hmm. and may make me a fortitude save. Right. See fortitude. <laughs> I rolled a two. That's an eight total. You take two points of strength damage. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, there are no giant wasps anymore. Ori. I would like to turn towards the Wasp Queen and say, Hello, Beastie. And I want to use a Destructive Blast. And I want to use a Spell Point to add a d6 to that. Yeah. Do you do this just a Destructive Blast, or do you also attack with it? I also attack with this. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> That's a 19 to hit. Uh, that is going to hit. I think I actually even said that you can only use destructive blast one attack. I think so. I think that's. Yeah. I think I, I even can't use it like yeah. that without. Okay, I rolled well. Uh, that is ten Good. points of beauty damage. All right. And fourteen points of cold damage. Ooh. And it must make a fortitude save. Yeah, it absolutely must. Hmm. What's your safety C? Uh, sure, I think it's 13. Uh, I rolled a 17. Yeah. 
That's so it will then make enough. it. It's it's a big tough creature. Yeah, but it I is high I fortitude. Did, I think I did some damage. You did uh, quite a lot of damage, yeah. Nix. Okay, so there's five wasps around Nix right Four, now, right? Four, actually. Four. No, but there's also still a soldier. Oh no, wait, that one no. died. It did die. Yeah, right. I it did die. So okay. four of them, and one of them is looking rough. Uh, Nix is gonna make. Uh, Two claw attacks, one at the uh, drone, which was already damaged, that looked hurt. Mm -hmm. One at another one. Uh, I am again going to spend the spell point to do more damage, even though I think it's not very necessary. Nyx is just kind of going berserk with all these things around him. There's going to be two attack rolls. Let's see, first one is going to be that's a 14 total. I don't think that's hits. 14 hits. Ooh, it does. Nice. Okay. Animals don't have high armor class. Yes. Oh. And I'll uh, see how much damage this one does. Uh, that's okay. It's going to be uh, six uh, bludgeoning slashing damage and seven fire damage. That's enough to kill it. Cool. So nice. that one is cut down. Very nice. And the second one. Three more remaining. That's going to be a 16 total to hit. Yeah, enough. Awesome. That's five, uh, five bludgeoning slashing damage and again seven fire damage because I divided it over the two claws. All right. It's eight. I, I'm still forgetting it. I'm still forgetting the extra damage. It's eight fire damage. Yeah. That's good because it would have been on exactly two hit points. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you you managed to kill two of them. Sweet, like just wildly slashing around, um, flying around. Uh, the queen wasp. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Nix. You may also make me another fortitude save. Right. Oh. That is a natural one. I think that fails. Yeah. You take another two points of strength damage. It's annoying. Right. Very annoying. Giant Wasp is going to attack Oriken. The Queen. Giant Wasp Queen. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting this. <laughs> I apologize. That's a 21, so that doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Because armor class. At least. Yes. Right. One um... word. <laughs> I don't see what's going on, but I will hear there's a lot of wasps being removed, and my main concern is eliminating as many threats as possible. So I will step out of the fog and just see what's happening. Mm -hmm. So there's currently two more wasps around Nyx? Yeah, there are two uh, worker wasps around Nyx, and there's a queen wasp that is trying to stab Ori. How far away are the wasps near Nyx for me? Pretty close. All right. It's uh, not a huge battlefield. Yeah. Nix, how fire resistant were you? Not. Right. I don't get that. I'm sorry. In that case, I won't. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, sure. Don't burn him, but burn me and you're yeah. fine. I mean, I am all for it. You guys got angry with me last time, so I'm very reactive. Instead, I am. Um, <laughs> gonna do stupid stuff like teleporting next to the two wasps and All right. making a dual attack. I, I I hate to I hate to break the film right. for you, but Just you did over. move out of yep. the smoke. Just run over in that case. Like continue to move. Alright. Uh, uh and uh Let's just first see what happens. I'm yes. definitely going to make a dual strike, and I'll see where the second one lands. Uh, so, uh, that is a natural 20. No. <laughs> you make a perfect one. All right. Uh, what are you guys like rolling with? Uh, mm -hmm. Good enough. Good. Good enough. This is my first roll above an 11. All game. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm really, I'm, in the beginning for the, some skill checks, I was doing really well, and then 
combat sounds and it just dips. Mm. Um, all right, that is a confirm. So confirmed crit. So that is two to six. I've rolled minimum damage, so that's two points of damage. Because I do not get any bonuses on that. So I presume that the second strike is also going against that one, because the wasp is still alive. Mm-hmm. It's definitely still alive, yeah. That is a 19 to hit. That's it. Four, three points of damage. All right. It's still going. I still have this thing. Um, which I'll do right uh, no, I'm not gonna set it right now because I might study the queen while I'm fighting these. All right. I think Nyx can take care of them pretty quickly. Beast. Uh, the two wasps, the two sol- uh, sol- worker wasps, are still going to attack Nyx. Awesome. Uh, they both missed. Uh, and then it's Ori's turn again. Okay, Trident attack on the Queen with Destructive Blast. Uh, that's a 15 to hit? That is not a hit, I'm afraid. Oh, and I rolled a 10 on my D10 too. Oh, so sad. <laughs> too bad. You gonna do anything else? No. Nix. Uh, I've got two more wasps to finish off, so I'm going to spend another spell point, even if I'm burning through them pretty quickly. We're also burning pr- through wasps pretty quickly, so... <laughs> That's a dirty 21. Actually, I think we're flanking now, so... A dirty 21? I hope yeah, it's not a natural 21, yeah, it's because it's I didn't know what die you're using then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would explain good. a lot. <laughs> yeah. but it's, we're flanking, right? I think. Yeah, sure. Like, it doesn't matter for this, because the yeah. 21 is definitely going to be a hit. Yeah, well, it's a 23 now. Um, so that's, let's see, that is uh, 5 bludgeoning slashing damage. This is on the wounded one. Yes. Don't forget so, the fire and, damage. And the fire damage is coming. I won't forget the extra fire damage either. That's uh, 10 fire damage. Woo-hoo. Yeah, uh, right. You burn it to the ground. Good. Then let's see if I can kill the second one with my second claw. That is a 19 to hit. That's it. That's uh, four bludgeoning slashing damage and another 10 fire damage. Once again, exactly enough. Awesome. Do well. All right, so there's only the Wasp Queen left now. Who's going to take another stab at Ori? <laughs> nope. Uh, Alice. Um, Wait, I have to roll for the poison or not? Is it only two rounds? You're right. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, yeah no. please roll for the poison. I'm sorry, I, rem- I reminded you. No, <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. That's better. I rolled a total of 18. I dropped the die. Uh, 18 is good enough. Yeah, and uh, it's not that strong of poison, so it's out of your system now. Oh, good. I'm assuming the, the, the ability drain is still there. The yeah, ability damage. drain is definitely still there. It's ability yeah. damage, not drain. Yeah, damage, not drain. Where ability drain, it would be very problematic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay. What's the prior done? Alice. Between... Oh, wait. <clears throat> Alice is pretty reckless. Pretty goddamn reckless. Um, don't put all your shoulders in. <laughs> don't, don't. Not knowing you got stabbed, she'll she's not sure if you'll um if you'll uh recover from the poison that she'll basically should point out. Uh that one is the antitoxin file, at which point you um uh, flanking the queen with Ori. Alright. And going to Go take ahead. uh taking a swift action to study it first. Yes. And then making two strikes against it. Yes. Uh, the second one of which. Uh, yeah, the second one of which is going to be uh, a studied strike. All right, go ahead. All right, that is a. Uh, oof. Um, it is studied with flanking, so that means these penalties don't apply. 
Uh, that means this is a melee attack. Six, uh, a 19 and a uh, 22. To hit. They both hit. Awesome. All right. That is great. Uh, so that is going to be uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. Uh, plus half level is four is fifteen points of damage as nice. uh, two blades cut into it. And she just just sort of standing there like, sorry about the fire before. Ori, violent attack with destructive blasts. I'm now flanking. So, mm -hmm. wait. Does that mean I can? Oh, it doesn't matter. I could. Because I have that one, the tactic, but I'm already flanking, so. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking of another character. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oof. Uh, plus two, then, for flanking? Yes. So that's a 19 to hit. That is enough. For 11 points of piercing damage and 7 nice. full damage. Right. Ooh. It must make a fortitude save. It is not doing great. Oh my. <laughs> nope, it failed its fortitude save. It's now staggered. All right. It can now only make one attack, which is... Which it already did, but it can't yeah. fly away. That's fair. Nix. Yes. Um, Get how far away is pretty close, right? I think, yeah, Nix is at this point. It's not going to grab his bow again. It's just going to run over and uh, attack. Can I flank right. with a least? Or uh, nope, because or... two people are already flanking. You can jump on my shoulders and then... <laughs> no, I'll just attack from the side. It's going to be two claws, and I'm going to spend a spell point to improve my blistering blast. Damn. Give it a fury! Uh, nope, that's going to be a miss. That's a 13 to hit. It's not enough. Unfortunate. And that is a 15, which is also not enough. Also unfortunate. Because of the strength damage. All right. What's well, queen? It's going to attack Alice. Fuck. <laughs> that is a 16 to hit. That definitely misses. Good. <gasps> oh, God. It is your turn. <laughs> Yes, that is going to be another dual attack because if this thing survives another round and attacks me, I need that bonus. So I don't have studying anymore. So it's just like, oh, that is a natural 19 on the first one, which is crit range for my dual blade. Nice. Uh, I already rolled the second attack in the same go. And that is a 12, so that becomes a dirty 20. That's enough. So that is a. Crits on the first one, on the second strike, uh, it is a natural 14 for a 20. 20. Sorry. The 19 is... Uh, 19 is incorrect. That should be an 8. Uh, that should be an... Uh, da -da. Let's just call it an 18 for now. It's fine. J All just right. roll damage. Let, let's not stretch it out too long. The second one definitely long. also hits, because that's more. All right. Uh, 7... Plus one is eight points of damage total. Uh, but you also critted, right? That is including the crit. All right. So sad. Oh, obviously you cannot roll a seven on one d six. And I don't have. Uh, I don't get to add my dex bonus to damage because mm -hmm. weapon yeah. finesse is dumb. That's fun. <laughs> it is different. And I don't have. We will. Yet. We will continue this discussion later, <laughs> or not at all. Uh, Ori. Uh, shouting out, Alice, flank with Nyx. Now using my uh, tactics to uh, use the aggressive flanking. Yes, so everyone is flanking this wasp. <laughs> and then using a trident attack with my destructive blast. That's a 19 to hit. That's enough. I rolled a 1 on my d10, so that's 5 points of piercing damage. But mm. 8 points of cold so, damage. There we go. Yeah, and that is enough. Sweet. Or don't flank. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> you shot him like with down. Nyx, and then you grab your trident and you just pierce it into the ground. As soon as or down. Goes... It's also fine. As soon as this wasp goes down, Alice just sort of plops on the ground and grabs at herself. All right. Um, and with that combat done. Uh, we should really end session. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so I'm gonna end session. Good. Sorry for next time late. we can do the we will know more. dialogue and jelly draining next time. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's about it's it's only ten minutes late. That's fine. Oh, well, that's, that's good. That's pretty. Uh, good. Probably didn't lose anyone in that time, <laughs> except for my sanity, but that wasn't really present there to begin with. Uh, <laughs> uh, we will be back. Uh, next week, I'm going to actually put up the earlier episodes up on YouTube, so if you have missed them, they, they should be on, on YouTube soon. Page. There's a link on the About page, which will yeah. take you directly to the YouTube page, yes. where also previous where, complaints can be found. Where I'm trying to upload more videos, because I really should. <laughs> fun, they're really fun. Because I'm now with Skyrim coming up to episode 14 of a series where mm. like the first 12 are never to, are nowhere to be found. Mm. Um, uh, speaking of which, uh, I also stream Skyrim on Fridays and I stream Dishonored, the clean hand run, so not killing anyone, which is a lot of fun. It's been fun uh, watching. On Wednesdays. Uh, so yeah. Uh, please come around at those times as well. Uh, and otherwise, we will be back next week, Sunday, Sundays, um, for more wasps. Or, no, not more wasps. wasps. More royal Much jelly. Less wasps. Wasp. I can <laughs> promise you that there will be less wasps than this time. Probably. Probably. This is out of game, probably, so it's definitely true. <laughs> this is out. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, we'll consider it anyway um, thank you for being here we hope bye -bye. to see you again soon although we don't yeah. see you we hope you will see us again soon <laughs> bye 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 bye, bye.